Sin, sin, sin leads to hell, hell, hell. Sin, 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 sin. No, no. No. Sin, you're embracing your murderer with open arms. Oh, yes, you're just saying, Oh, give me that, give me that, give me that. You just want your sin and you're damning your soul because God's gonna judge your life for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and hoe that you sleep with. God is gonna judge your life. Okay, Jesse Morrell here uh, in the, the big city, New York. Uh, you know, the city that never sleeps. And apparently there's, uh, you know, some little uh, Black Lives Matter thing going on here, right in dead center, Times Square. We weren't expecting that, but we're gonna try and do some preaching here. I think we got another spot we'll go to later. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's tons of people here. You know, New York City is a spot that you could just pick any corner and preach to, you know, tens of thousands of people. There's uh, 8 million people that live in the city, plus, you know, countless uh, tourists that come every single day. So it's a, it's an international outreach. It's a global outreach just right here. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. The Bible says, unless a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. So I came out here to tell you that you must be born again. And the problem with New York is that New York is infested with drugs. New York is infested with sexually transmitted diseases because New York is infested with whores and whoremongers. And the Bible says, unless you repent, you will perish. So I come out here to tell you to repent. Okay, Justin Morrell here. Uh, this is Union Square, New York. Lots of people. Apparently there's also some Black Lives Matter protests going on here too. And so uh, I'm just gonna preach the gospel, talk about sin, talk about what the real problem in the hood is and the ghettos and you know, uh, Jesus is the answer. So uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I got a little soapbox, got a good team of brethren. We got some signs. My voice is a bit hoarse from you know, all the preaching that we've been doing uh, uh, the past couple days. But I should be able to uh, last the night. This will be my last uh, outreach here in Dallas. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. <clears throat> I came out here today because I know and God knows that there's a lot of sin, sin, sin in your heart, in your life. And the Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. Justice? Hey, what about the justice for all the black babies that are aborted? so many of you abort your black babies why 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 that ain't right 
Okay, Jesse Morrell here in New York City, uh, right outside of uh, Penn Station, I guess the you know Madison Square Garden area, and it's pretty wide open here, and lots of foot traffic, lots of people, and uh, we just had a good session at church, and we got some of the uh, members from church out with us so that we could preach, and I'm going to preach against the building to try and help amplify my voice, and I'll have the uh, believers that I'm with sort of make up a crowd. And that'll help draw a crowd, you know, a crowd draws a crowd. It's a, it's a psychological thing that when a crowd, when, a, when people see a crowd, they think, well, something exciting is going on, something worth listening to or something worth seeing is going on. So that a crowd draws a bigger crowd. And it also helps overcome, you know, these people who, they don't want to be the first one to stop and listen or they don't want to look interested if no one else looks interested. And so if you have the believers you're with stand in front of you, uh, it just completely speeds up the process of uh, getting others to stop and engage you. So, so that's what we'll do and we'll see how it goes. And if you just want to go out, get drunk, get high, sleep around, you make yourself an enemy of God. Well, to be a friend of God, you must repent. To be a friend of God, you need to be reconciled. The Bible says, be ye reconciled to God. The Bible says God is begging you, beseeching you to be ye reconciled to God. It means you turn away, turn away from your sin. Put your faith in Christ who died for you, who shed his blood for you, as sinful as you are, as hell deserving as you are Jesus Christ spilt his holy blood to redeem your soul and then he rose from the dead and I'm here to testify that I know Jesus I have a relationship with Jesus I've met him he's changed my life he's changed my heart and what Jesus Christ did for me he can do for you. He can change you from the inside out. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. So if you're a drunkard today, a slave to your bottle, cry out to God, He can set you free. If you're a drug addict today, a slave to your drugs, Cry out to God, and He can set you free. The Bible says, The God who answers by fire, let Him be God. And there I was. I was a man addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, a hell-deserving sinner. But when I cried out to God, He heard my prayer. When I cried out to God, He delivered me. He set me free. There's power in Jesus Christ that's not in Mohammed, not in Buddha, not in Krishna. There's power in Jesus Christ to change the human heart. Hallelujah. Okay, Jesse Morrell here, and I'm in the uh, state of New York um, with some uh, brothers, and this is one of their preaching spots. It's a, a bus uh, transit center, and they said they've preached here before without any problems with the police. Uh, we'll see how that goes with us today. I kind of have a suspicion we might get kicked out of here. Uh, it feels like it, but uh, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, lots of people are sitting around waiting for the bus. I'd say there's, you know, already a couple hundred people here. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And uh, you know, the key to find a good preaching spot is to just find a public place that has lots of people. You know, that's just the two qualifications. It needs to be public. It needs to have people. And uh, hopefully this, uh, this fits the bill. So. so we're out here to testify of Jesus Christ, that he is alive, that Jesus rose from the dead, and he's changing lives. Before I met Jesus Christ, I was as wicked, as sinful, as hell-deserving as any man. Drugs, alcohol, crime. But when I met Jesus Christ, he changed my heart. He washed me. He made me new. And we're here to tell you today, if you're living in sin,
If you're out getting drunk, you're out getting high, you're out sleeping around, your sin will damn your soul. But Jesus Christ can save you from every sin. The Bible says who the Son sets free is free indeed. So if you're a slave to your alcohol, if you're a slave to your drugs, if you're a slave to your sex and your pornography, Jesus Christ can set you free. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now America is in trouble with God. America is full of sin. America is on a slippery slide down to hell. New York is full of sin, drugs, violence, wickedness, like Sodom and Gomorrah before God destroyed them. But God in His mercy, God in His grace, God in His compassion is giving you a chance to repent. I'm not here to preach the Bible, preach the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says God has appointed a day when he will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. And the Bible says God is calling all men everywhere to repent because he's appointed a day when he will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. So for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and hoe that you sleep with, you're going to give an account to God for every act, every deed, every bit of your life. You know, the Bible says for every idle word that men speak, you'll give an account for the day of judgment. Think of how many times have you said the name of Jesus as a curse word? Ah, uh, countless. So you deserve hell countless times. You deserve countless hells. Yeah, use the name of Jesus in blasphemy countless times. The Bible says, for every idle word that men speak, they'll give an account for on the day of judgment. Now here at, uh, here at Long Beach, some of you girls will even wear bikinis at the beach, walking around with your bikinis on. Wicked! Might as well walk around wearing your underwear. If you're gonna wear a bikini, might as well walk around. I mean, you're walking around. You're even more than half naked. You're 90% naked walking around wearing a bikini. So the Bible says, unless a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. Jesus said, you must be born again. So many of you are, uh, you know, not really thinking about God, thinking about pleasure, thinking about money, thinking about having a good time. But one day, folks, you're all going to die. One day, you're all going to die. And the Bible says, after death comes the judgment. It's appointed unto man once to die. And after this comes the judgment. So I'm here to be a warning to this city that God is going to judge your life for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and hoe that you sleep with. God is going to judge your life. And the Bible says God is angry. God is angry with the wicked every day. And the Bible says the wicked will be cast into hell and all nations that forget God. And New York is a wicked city, full of drugs, full of prostitutes, full of homosexuals, full of wickedness and sin. And the judgment of God is coming to this city if you don't repent. The Bible says the carnal mind is enmity with God. It's not subjected to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. Now many of you have the mindset of, I just want to get drunk, get high, get laid. See, you're wicked. You're wicked. You have a carnal mind. 
You have this mindset on the flesh and that makes you an enemy of God. That should concern you. That puts you... Well, God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. The Bible says God hates all workers of iniquity. Yeah, your sin puts you under the hatred of God. No, I'm not the only one hating here. God in me is also hating here because God hates all sin. God hates all hands that shed innocent blood. God hates all workers of iniquity. How you doing? Oh, there's like an ordinance against it or something? Uh, yeah, it's like you can speak. Just without those? Yeah, it's an electronic device, portable electronic sure. speaker. Because this is how the city works. Yeah. You, you have a your speaker, they're going to put this speaker. There's no like decimal level, like you keep it low or something, because it's a lot, it's noisy with the cars, yeah, you know, like. You can speak, you can do. Yeah. Is there a specific ordinance against it? Yeah, you're not allowed to have music from an electronic device. That's or speech or whatever. You're not allowed to use electronic devices. Okay, no electronic you can, devices. You can do the thing and okay, speak yeah. about it. No, I, I'll, I'll do without it. Sure. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Yep. Sure. Do you want to hold this? Uh, I'll just use without it. So the Bible says... God is calling all men everywhere to repent because he's appointed a day when he will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will judge your life for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and ho that you sleep with. God is going to judge your life Black sir Black sir Black sure they do Black sure they do if it, black lives do matter, so stop aborting your black babies. Yes. Yes. This. Black babies matter. 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 See? Black babies matter. The devil is a liar. How about that? Sin is the problem. Sin, sin, sin is the problem. And Jesus is the answer. Why are you? Why are you being? Jesus is the answer. But this is not the platform for that. Yes, it is. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus. Jesus Christ can save your soul. This is not the Yes. He may save us. Jesus Christ can change your life. This is not the Jesus died for black people. Jesus died for white people. Jesus died for all people. He died for all people. The answer to the problems but of the we're, ghetto we're is the Jesus Christ. Ones that's dying. The, you can't say to the oppressor, you can't say to the oppressor. Jesus that can set you free you from the oppression of sin. That may be true. The real oppression is sin. Sinner. The bondage but you need to be of sin. sin. You don't sin is a tyrant. Is a tyrant. Sin is the tyrant. The yes. Oppressed. Jesus can set the, the oppressed person. free. Right. And you teach that to the person. Yes. The and you know who's being oppressed? The black babies that are aborted. They're being oppressed. There's no justice in violence. that. Well, that is injustice. Violence doesn't that have a color. Injustice. Teach that to the person. So the Bible the says Not to the people, that people God to be a is calling all men everywhere to repent. 
because he's Only appointed a day when he will judge the world. Not the person that's being the For every blood Not that you smoke, God's going to judge your life. For every beer that you guzzle, God's going to judge your life. For every sin that you commit, God's going to judge your life. And the Bible says, unless you repent, you will perish. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. So what you need is to be born again. Hallelujah. What you need is to be born again. Jesus is the answer to all the problems of hate. Sin is hate. Sin is hateful. And Jesus... What's that? Yes, because if you're a sinner, you're an enemy of God. Sinners are enemies of God. Sin is a tyrant. You know who's oppressed? Sinners. Sinners are oppressed. But Jesus can set you free from the oppression of sin. Jesus is a pimp. Jesus can set you free from your addiction to drugs, to alcohol, to sex. Jesus Christ can set you free from any sin oppression in your life. There is no peace for the wicked. Yes, there's no peace for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. If you want peace, you need Jesus. If you want peace, that comes through Jesus Christ. Peace with God. Peace with God is in Jesus Christ. Peace with God is in Jesus Christ. He spilt his blood, his red blood for your soul. Jesus died for your sin and he rose from the dead and he defeated death. And through Jesus Christ, you can have your sin forgiven. Do you need help, sister? You... Why are you so hateful? Why are you so hateful? What's the matter here? Oh, oh you just want to take it off? You believe in the word of God? Fuck you. Fuck you. Can you hold this? Fuck you. See, look, I'm out here spreading love, and you guys are spreading hate. Eggs, water, you're spreading hate. I'm spreading love. I'm sp the love of Jesus. What's love? No, God wants all sinners to repent. All of them. Black, white. God wants all sinners to repent. Jesus was, was not white. Jesus was not black. Jesus was Jewish. If we don't get no justice, if we don't get no peace, and if we don't get no justice, yes. we don't get no peace. But peace with God is in Jesus Christ. Peace with God is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can save your soul from sin, from death, and from hell. Jesus Christ can save you from sin, death, and hell if you cry out to Him. The Bible says there's no other way to the Father but through Jesus Christ the Lord. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Mohammed can't save you. Mohammed is dead. Buddha can't save you. Buddha is dead. Krishna can't save you. Krishna is dead. Confucius can't save you. Confucius will confuse you. But Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus Christ is alive.
he is, a, he is a, alive and well. And he answers those who cry out to him. Listen up, Hampstead. Your sin, the stench of your sin, has risen up to the heavens. And God smells it. God has a bad taste in his mouth. Do you know that the Bible says that the lukewarm, he will spew out of his mouth. If today you call yourself a Christian and you're living like the devil, you're fooling yourself. You're the worst liar on earth. You're lying to yourself. Shame on you. We've come here to confront your sin. We're not coming here to give you hugs. We're not coming here with milk and cookies. We're coming out here to call out sin for what it is. Sin will take you straight to hell. Yes, there's a hell, there's a heaven. There's not just a heaven, there's a hell. God is love, but he's also a consuming fire. The Bible says if you fear God, that you shouldn't fear man, but fear God for, because he can destroy both body and soul in hell. This is not a popular talk. This is not a popular speech or, or preaches. This won't bring me any money. But you know what it will do? It will gain you salvation if you believe, trust, and trust in Jesus Christ. Believe and repent. Leave your sins behind. Turn around. Uh, the pastors today are preaching from the pulpits. They're roaring like lions, but they're unwilling to come out here and look for the souls. Jesus said, go and make disciples all over the world, teaching them, baptizing them in the name of Jesus and teaching them everything I've taught you. That's what we've come out here to do today. If it was up to me, I wouldn't be here. I'm a small person. I'm a scared and shy person, but God is mighty and through his power I can preach. Uh, many of you are smarter, many of you are stronger, and you should be doing what I'm doing. But Hempstead, you've gone long enough with a good rebuking. You've gone long enough with a good judgment. The Bible says that a spiritual man judges all things, and he is judged by no one. The Bible also says that the saints will judge the world, and even angels. And that's what I've come here to do today. If you are fornicating, you are in trouble with God. If you are lying, you are in trouble with God. If you are stealing, you are in trouble with God. If you are lusting, if you're watching pornography, masturbating, you name it, you're in trouble with God. God has his eyes over the righteous and the unrighteous. He, you can't escape. His eyes are like cameras, the perfect camera that never shuts off. And he's recording every moment, every word that is uttered from your mouth. It's been recorded by his angels in heaven. Where will you be? Where will you go on that judgment day? If God were to judge you according to his 10 commandments, his holy law, the Bible says that all of us have gone astray and we've become sinners and unprofitable. It is time to repent. John the Baptist came saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Then Jesus Christ came repeating the same message. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. To repent means to change your mind about what you're doing. If I repented of coming here today, I wouldn't be here. I'm unrepented of coming to Hempstead. That's why I came here. But if I was repented of coming here, I wouldn't have come. It's a change of direction. If you repented of your alcoholism, then you're going to stop drinking. When a man becomes a Christian, he goes sober. When a man eyes becomes a Christian and he was an ex-homosexual, he becomes straight. There's no such thing as a homosexual Christian. There's no such thing as a lying Christian. There's no such thing as a, as a, a stripping Christian. There's no such thing as a Christian drug dealer. It makes no sense. But, but no, you, can't, you can fool others, but you can't fool God. Where will you stand on that day of judgment? Will you be found guilty? Will you be found worthy to escape the wrath of God that is to come? If you're a sinner today, you need to stop it. Stop it. If you're a sinner, stop it. If you're sinning, stop it. If you're a liar or a thief, stop it. If you're a homosexual, stop it. Bible said, are you a lesbian? Gays have rights, yeah? You have the right to go to hell if you want. Gays have rights. You have the right to serve the devil if you want. And homosexuality is satanic. You people don't even know what your anus is for. You use and abuse your body to pervert the creation of God. It's satanic. In fact, 
all sin, all sin is satanic. The good news that even though you deserve hell, Jesus died for you. The good news, even though New York deserves to burn in hell, Jesus shed his blood for every man here. Bible says, while we were yet sinners and enemies of God, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. If you're a homosexual today, Jesus Christ can make you normal. If you're a liar today, Jesus Christ can make you honest. If you're a drunkard today, Jesus Christ can make you sober. Do we have any homosexuals out here today? Anyone a homosexual? Good, keep it up. Oh, so I saw that hand. Are you a homosexual? Like a bisexual? Well, stop it. Don't you know what the anus is for? The anus. What's it for? Defecation, not penetration. No, see, God invented. No, you have you have male. No, you have male and female. And male and female fit together. And then you have reproduction, you have babies. But when you have a man and a man, that violates the design of the body. Well, what do you think homosexuality is? Because they have gay pride parades. You know, I'm a guy. I don't want them to die of AIDS and go to hell. So I, if you're homosexual, I tell you to stop it. Stop it. You know, they so abuse their body, these homosexuals have to wear diapers. Diaper, yeah, because they destroy their rectum. It's true, they destroy, it's, it's not loving, it's abuse, it's lust, it's evil. It's Sodom and Gomorrah. And New York is turning into a Sodom and Gomorrah, a modern day Babylon. No! Don't you know what the anus is for? I thought we covered this. I thought we talked about this already. Oh yeah, the anus, okay? Uh, the anus is for, for defecation, not penetration. Memorize that. A lot of people don't understand that. Defecation, not penetration. It's a sin against God. You, see, you know what Satanism is? Satanism is anything contrary to the ways of God. And God made male and female. So homosexuality is satanic. All sin is satanic. Do you smoke marijuana? Good, keep it up. Do we have any pot smokers out here today? Because you know what the wacky tobacco does? Wicked! 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 Yeah, body pain is not clothing. Body pain is not clothing. You know, when you're walking around naked in public, you might as well have a, have a sign on your back that says, rape me, rape me, rape me. It is. How stupid are these girls walking around naked? Why don't you just put a sign on your back that says, rape me, rape me. You make yourself, yeah. you make yourself a target. I'm here to inject some truth to New York. I'm here to inject some wisdom into New York. Sin is stupid. All sin is stupid. Serving God, that's wisdom. Serving God, that's wise. God invented clothing. God gave clothing to Adam and Eve. But when you're walking around in your body paint with your nipples exposed, that's satanic, contrary to the ways of God, as he outlined in Genesis. So it's a good thing I'm here. 
New York needs to repent. Repent. If you're doing drugs, repent. If you're getting drunk, repent. If you're fornicating, you know what that is, don't you? Fornicating. Whorishness. Whoremongering. Yeah, premarital sex. Fornicating. The Bible says, don't be deceived. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. But Jesus Christ can save your soul. Jesus Christ can take a fornicator and wash them and clean them. Jesus Christ can take a hell-bound sinner and turn him into a heaven-bound saint. That's the power of the gospel. So I have good news. I have good news. The police wants us, wants you, or he's gonna arrest you. He just wants to talk to you. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sir, where do you want us to go? Wherever you're comfortable. You're comfortable over there? Wherever you're comfortable. Yeah, I can move if you'd like. Sure. Yeah, that might ease it up. Yeah, we're trying. Sure. Hey, guys. So the Bible says that God is calling all men everywhere to repent. Yeah, God is calling all men everywhere to repent. The real problem in the world today, the problem is sin. The oppression of sin. You say, oh, if they don't, if we don't get no justice, they don't get no peace. But there's no peace with God if you're living in sin. And there's no justice in sinning. If you want justice, stop sinning. If you want peace, stop sinning. But Jesus Christ is the answer to the problems of the world. You know, you want to talk about injustice? All of the black babies that are getting aborted, that's injustice. If black lives matter, Stop aborting black babies. That's not justice. That's wicked, wicked, wicked. And the Bible says, the wicked will be cast into hell and all nations that forget God. The Bible says, God is angry with the wicked every day. So if you're going out, puff it on bloods and sip it on gin and juice with your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Then you're living wicked. He said, F God. You have a hell-deserving attitude. Yes, you have a hell-deserving attitude. God is not a man that he's a liar, sir. He said, F Jesus. F Jesus, but Jesus died for you. Jesus shed his blood for you. Jesus loved you like no other man ever loved you. Jesus cared more about you than your mama or your dada or your grandma or your grandpappy. Jesus loved you more than anyone else ever loved you because he spilt his blood. You want to talk about black this, white that? How about talking about the red blood of Jesus Christ? He spilt his red blood for every man. And he can set you free from the oppression of sin. I know many of you are addicted to alcohol. I know many of you are addicted to drugs. I know many of you are addicted to sex. Yes, there's a confession. Yes, he's addicted to sex, he said. You're confessing it. Well, Jesus Christ can set you free from the bondage of sin. The Bible says, oh no.
Please God, that's not what Jesus Christ wants from your life. Sin, sin, sin leads to hell, hell, hell. No, no, no. a stupid idea that's a very stupid idea now if you want to sin you're embracing your murderer with open arms oh yes you just said oh give me that give me that give me that you just want your sin and you're damning your soul because God's gonna judge your life for every beer that you guzzle, every joint that you smoke, every hoochie and hoe that you sleep with, God is going to judge your life. The Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die. And after this comes the judgment. One day, folks, one day, you're all going to die. I'm ready to die. I'm ready because I have Jesus Christ as my Lord. I have Jesus Christ as my Savior. I have peace with God. I know my soul is right with God. I'm covered by the blood. Who told you that? I'm allowed to judge. Let me tell you my judgment. Here it is. I've been here now for a few days. Here's my judgment. New York is wicked. New York is funny. You are not. You guys need me. You need me. Who else? Who else is going to tell you it's not okay to be gay? Who else is going to tell you your gangster rap music is bad for your soul. Who else is going to tell you? New York is full of gangster rap music. Yeah, and gangster rap music promotes the thug life. Yes, this thug mindset, I just want to get drunk, get high, get laid. Yeah. Now you talking, motherfucker. And that is being carnally minded. And the Bible says that makes you an enemy of God. Yes, the carnal mind is enmity with God. Now, I used to live the thug life. Yes. Oh, yes. I used to sell drugs. I used to go in and out of jail. Oh, yeah. I got my neck slit in a knife fight. Gave me a permanent scar. But God spared my life. That's right. God spared my life. And he saved my soul. And he changed me from the inside out. And I have good news. You people can become like me. Yeah. Yeah. That's good news. That's good news. You don't have to stay hellbound sinners. You don't have to stay wicked. You don't have to stay addicted to your marijuana. You don't have to stay addicted. Yeah, you don't have to stay addicted to your hard liquor. You don't have to stay addicted to your porno. The Bible says, whosoever shall call 
on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. <laughs> Through sin, you deserve the wrath and judgment of God. Homosexuality, abortion, that deserves hell, eternal hell. But in His mercy, in His grace, He gave us His Son. While we were yet sinners and enemies of God, Christ died for us. And God in His love, mercy and grace can save you from the hell that you deserve. But time is running out, folks. Tick, tick, tock, you're all gonna die. You got a picture here? Yeah, tick, tick, tock, you're all gonna die. What is your life if it is even but a vapor that appears for a little time and then it vanishes away? What's that? You've been drinking today? What is your life if it is even but a vapor that appears for a little time and then poof, it vanishes away? So tick, tick, tock, you're all gonna die. And the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die. And after this comes the judgment. So get ready. Today could be your last. You're not promised tomorrow, but judgment day is guaranteed. You're not promised tomorrow, but judgment day is. So the Bible says, prepare to meet your God. Prepare to meet your maker. And if you're going out, if you're going out living the thug life, get drunk, get high, sleep around with hoochies and hoes, I want you to know you're on your way to hell. If you're going out living the thug life, the hood life, the gangster life, you're not serving God, you're serving the devil. Your drugs, your alcohol, your violence, your whorishness is service to the devil. Sin is satanic. All sin is siding with the devil in rebellion against God. So any of you out here, any of you gang members, any of you thugs, any of you sinners who just want to get drunk, get high, get laid, I want to warn you about the judgment of God. God is holy. And if you're in sin, you're unholy. God is righteous. And if you're sinning, you're unrighteous. You know why you need to fear God? You fear God because He's good. You don't fear God that He's going to do bad. You fear God that He's going to do what's good. And if God gave you what you deserved, if God gave you what is just, it would not be heaven. It would be hell. If you are saved, it's by grace. If you make it to heaven, it's not because you deserve it. It's because of the mercy of God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've done, no matter what your sin is, if you will cry out to God, if you will repent, if you will believe the gospel, you can be saved. Maybe you've had an abortion. Maybe you've butchered your own baby. Though you deserve hell, you can be forgiven. Maybe you lived a life of drunkenness and drugs. Maybe you've murdered. Maybe you've lied. Maybe you've stolen. Maybe you've committed adultery a thousand times. If you will but cry out to God, he will give you mercy. He will give you grace. So the message of God for New York is repent. Don't let these, these pastors lie to you talking about this universal salvation. They tell you that it's okay. God understands. 
He knows you're human, you're sinful. Well, guess what? We were made in the image of God. We were made in the image of God. So you know what? I understand what's right and wrong, and you know what's wrong in your conscience. When you do things, when you do bad things, your conscience is activated, and it tells you you're doing wrong. You can't escape it. Where is the wise man? Where is the debater of this age? Step forth and speak. Your arguments crumble before the arguments of God. It is plain. It is made plain to us with what the creation. There cannot be a creation without a creator. And you know it. You try to deny God. You try to run away from God. And you have the same problem that a thief has. A thief can't find a cop because he's a thief. And you can't find God because you're a criminal that has broken his laws. Jesús dijo, el que quiere venir en pos de mí, que se arrepienta, que levante su cruz, que se niegue a sí mismo y que me siga. The Bible says that if a man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him carry his cross and follow me. This Christian life is one of denial. This Christian life is one of abstinence. Do you practice sin or do you practice obedience? Do you love God or do you just say you love God? If you say you love God and you do not keep his commandments, then you're a liar and you know it. The Bible says that if a man is willing to come after Christ, he must deny himself, pick up his cross and follow him. Are you denying yourself today? Are you denying yourself today? Do you have peace with God or are you still his enemies? Psalm 5.5 says that God is angry with the wicked every day. Yes, God is love, but he's also consuming fire. He is the judge of the world, of the universe, and one day he's going to judge you. Oh yes, let the rain remind you of God's judgment. Did you guys know that the rain didn't exist in primordial times? The rain happens right now because of man's downfall. The separation of God between man. Let it remind you of God's judgment. God promised that when you see a rainbow, that was his covenant with the people that he would stop flooding them and wiping them out because of their sin. However, he said he's coming back in flaming fire to, for justice. People, you ought to flee his wrath. Flee from your sin. Flee from this lifestyle of sin. Thank God that he's, he's raining on your party over here. You guys came here to see fireworks, but you're not getting it. You're not getting it. You're not gonna see these fireworks until you're, you're, you're dead. Once you're dead, it's either heaven or hell. And in hell, there's only fireworks for eternity. And let me tell you something, these fireworks, they're not pretty. They're not nice. You don't take your children to go see these types of fireworks. These fireworks are never ending. They will burn you. You will be inside of these fireworks. So repent now, accept Jesus Christ. He is the only way out. Seek him before it's too late. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Let the rain remind you of God's judgment, of his power. See all this technology, all these huts that we have? It is nothing. When the rain comes, we all must flee. We all must seek shelter. Now imagine fire from heaven. Fire from heaven, imagine that. Imagine such a sad sight of chaos. That's the God of the Bible. He's not some wimp. He's not a sissy. He doesn't just hand out hugs. He doesn't just say, I love you, and hugs you and kisses you. Wrong, wrong. Because he is mighty, because he is, because he is so holy, that he must, he must inflict justice upon you. How many here have sinned? How many here have lusted after the women here? How many of you are sinning right now? How many of you? It only takes one sin that leads you to hellfire for eternity. For eternity. The Bible says that this life is but a vapor, appearing for a little time and then vanishing. That's your life. This life is going by quickly. I hear it all the time. 
Parents say they grow so fast. They grow so fast, but they don't look at themselves, how old and raggedy they're getting closer and closer to death. We all have an appointment with death. There's no escaping it. You could get the best doctor in the world. You could get the best medication in the world. You could go to the best hospital, but guess what? They can't save you. All these geniuses in, in the hospitals, all these people making up new drugs to cure you, it cannot save you. All it does is it's the, it delays your death. It makes it worse. You're like a walking zombie. Some, some people can't even walk. They're at their deathbeds trying to hold on to, to their life. Don't cling to this life. There is an afterlife, an eternal life. And there's only two ways to go about it. One, it's the easiest way. It's as wide as this boardwalk. Everybody goes through it. Everybody, it's so easy to cross to this path. However, there's one other path that leads to salvation, that leads to life, that leads to the light, to eternal life with Jesus Christ. And it's narrow, it's rough. No one wants to go through it. The streets aren't paved. Your feet will, will get cut going through these roads. And it's just one road, and that's Jesus Christ. How do you go through this road? You must accept Him, obey Him, leave your sin, repent, and trust in Him. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, beholding the evil and the good. You know, His eyes are as a flame of fire. And on His head were many crowns. He had a name written on him, which no man knew, but he himself. His robe was dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And out of his mouth go up a sharp sword, that with it he should smite nations. And he treadeth the winepress with the fierceness of his wrath. He actually makes wine out of all of his enemies. He stomps them out like grapes and makes wine out of them. The Son of Man will come back with a sickle, a scythe. That's where the idea of the Grim Reaper comes from. Christ is the Grim Reaper. He will come on a grim day and grimly reap up those who have done iniquity. He will reap them up. It says, the wicked in their hearts seek not after God. God is not in their thoughts. And this is why he will utterly destroy them. He will decimate those who live ungodly. And he gives us some examples. You know, Noah's flood. He flooded the world. He brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah as an example to those that after should live ungodly. So if you're a homosexual, look back toward the example of Sodom. But don't look back to Sodom as Lot's wife did and she just turned into a pillar of salt. She passed away instantly. And the wicked will pass away instantly without warning. Like Korah, they'll be sucked up by the earth, they'll just be swallowed up and forgotten about. The ungodly are like chaff, which blow off away with the wind. The ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. You know, that's such a bad idea, I bet you people smoke cigarettes too. Because you guys are full of bad ideas. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, smoke something, snort something, and your life still sucks. Yeah, you can't get no satisfaction. So you gotta smoke another cigarette, roll another fatty Philly blood, drink another Corona, cause you can't get no satisfaction. 
Because you're not living the way God designed you to live. That's, that's right. That's right. You keep trying and trying, but you can't get no satisfaction. The satisfaction of the soul comes through Jesus Christ. And it's greater than any pleasure you can get from drugs or alcohol or sex. You know, just today, I've already been egged. I've been, uh, you know, soaked in water. Yeah, they egged me already. But you know what? I have the joy of the Lord. Yes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have the joy of the Holy Ghost. And that's something you never know when you're in sin. You don't know what true pleasure is. You could kill me today and I'd be happy in heaven. Yes, yes, I could. This, this could be my last day on earth and I'd be a happy man because I served God. No, sin does not satisfy. Your lust does not satisfy. What you need is Jesus Christ to save you from the hell that you deserve. How many of you have sin in your life right now? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. That's the solution. How? How do you stop sinning? By faith in Jesus. No, faith, faith in Jesus can change your life like nothing else. I used to smoke marijuana every day. I used to get drunk every night. Jello shots, keg stands, beer funnels. I used to cuss like a gangster rapper. I had so much sin in my heart, in my mind, in my life. But when I put my faith in Jesus Christ, not only as Savior, but as judge, it got the sin out of my life. And faith in Jesus Christ can set you free. You cigarette smokers, let me tell you something. You cigarette smokers are paying for your poison. You pay your hard earned money to poison your body. Oh, that's a bad idea. No, I got the sin out of my life. Yes. The Bible says, he that sins is of the devil but whosoever has been born of God does not commit sin no when you're born again your life is changed when you're born again you get a new heart if you're a sinner today you're going to hell no I choose not to do you stop it I believe it I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. No, you're a wannabe. You're a wannabe devil. You're a wannabe devil. Yes, yeah, see, you are. I mean, think about, think about how stupid sin is. Think about how stupid sin is. Smoking cigarettes. Getting high, getting drunk, you destroy your body. Sin spelled back, which is nice. You destroy your mind. Sin back, which is You destroy your soul. And one day, the Bible says, in hell, you will be weeping, wailing, and gnashing your teeth. That's what it sounds like in hell. Repent. Bible says, repent and believe the gospel. Repent. Sin is satanic sin. 
is foolish. Sin is madness. Sin is insanity. Do what's right, do what's reasonable, and submit your life to God. Don't you see how your sin is destroying your own life? Don't you see how sin is destroying this country? Don't you see how sin is destroying this city? So turn, turn from sin. The Bible says, unless you repent, you will perish. All the judgment of God is real. And God will judge New York. He already has, and he'll do it again. God judges people. God judges cities. God judges nations. And the destruction of God, the judgment of God, will come to New York if New York does not repent, if New York does not turn. So we're out here to plead with you. You know, cigarettes cause cancer. It's a bad choice. Very bad choice. That's what sin is. It's unwise, unintelligent. It's foolish. When you choose to be a sinner, you're embracing your murderer with open arms. Just like smoking your cigarettes. You're embracing your murderer. You're paying for your poison. Same thing with your alcohol. When you're going out to the bar, going out to the liquor store, you're paying for your poison. What's that? Yeah, that's a bad choice. Yeah, but you're not going to enjoy it when you're dying of cancer in the hospital from your cigarettes. I choose to be healthy. Yes. I choose to eat healthy. Because you want to make good choices. And sin is never a good choice. Smoking your cigarettes is going to cause cancer. Don't you see the foolishness of paying your own money for poison? Getting drunk is going to destroy your liver, destroy your kidneys. Sleeping with whores will give you STDs. Yes. Don't you see how foolish sin is? What's that? No, I, I said if. I said, I said if you sleep with whores, and I'm pointing to the crowd, not you. If you sleep with whores, you'll get STDs. You see, there's consequences for sin consequences in this life and consequences in the next life. Now, are, are you a virgin or are you promiscuous? Well, I care. I don't want you to get cancer. I don't want you to get... You know, I don't want you to get gonorrhea or syphilis. I care. I care about your health. More importantly, the health of your soul. Yes, sin is cancer to the soul. That's what sin is. Sin is cancer to the soul. And I care. That's why I'm out here to call sinners to repentance. Because that's what Jesus did. I'm like a fireman trying to save you from the fire. You know? Because, because New York is a sinful city in the spiritual, it's like New York is on fire. And I'm trying to save you from the flames. Yes, if you're a sinner, you're heading for the flames. Jesus said in hell, you'll be weeping, wailing, and gnashing your teeth. What's that? That Yeah, so is Chicago. That's true. Now, I said in the spiritual. 
Yes, so I'm like a fireman. I don't know this guy. I'm from India. India is the best. <laughs> yes. That's great. No. Jesus said he came to call sinners to repentance. So I'm here to do what Jesus would do. If you're a fornicator, you need to stop it. If you're a if you're a homosexual, you need to stop it. If you're a liar, stop it. Stop it now. Do you know why you lesbians have ovaries? You have ovaries because you were designed to have sex with a man. See that lesbians violate their design. Homosexuals violate their design. They sin against their own body. So the Bible says, repent. That means change your mind. If you're a homosexual, stop it. Stop it. If you're a liar or a thief, stop it. If you're a porno freak, stop it. If you're a cigarette smoker, stop it. Stop it. That's repent. You see, repent is to turn around. Repent is to change your ways. When you're going the life of sin, going the pathway of sin, to repent means you turn around. You get on the highway of holiness. Holiness. Be careful because you don't know if today's your last day. Today could be your last warning. God smelled the stench of the sin of Hempstead and he sent some saints here to preach to you, to tell you to turn, to repent, to leave your sins behind. And some of you, for some of you, time is ticking. It's coming to an end. Your heart, your heart can only beat so many times. You're not gonna live forever, people. You don't know if the day of tomorrow is your last. And some of you are getting too old to be sinning, too old to be rebelling, too old to be enemies of God. Repent, repent and be forgiven. Repent and come to Christ, believe in Him. He died on that cross for sinners like you, for sinners like me. But you know what? I'm not a sinner anymore, I'm a saint. I've been saved by His grace, yes? But now I have become a new creature. I'm a new creature in Christ. Behold, all things have passed and everything has become new. La palabra dice que si alguien está en Cristo, todas las cosas han pasado y aquí son hechas nuevas. Un cristiano no puede seguir en sus pecados, discúlpenme, pero no se puede servir al diablo y no se puede servir al Dios al mismo tiempo. O se va a servir al diablo o se va a servir a Dios. Si tú estás jugando con Dios este día, arrepiente, teme a Jehová porque Él viene pronto. Él viene pronto y en un lado Él tiene su espada y en el otro tiene ahí su galardón. ¿Y qué vas a recibir tú de Dios? ¿Un premio o te va a cortar la cabeza? El, inf el infierno es eterno. En el infierno la gente ora, pero nadie escucha. Trust in God. Today is the day for salvation. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't brush, brush off my words, for you will regret it for eternity. For eternity, people. 2,000 years ago, there was a man by the name Jesus Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. And he said, no, I will not go home. I came here for a purpose. And I thank God for raining on your parade today. I thank God because you didn't enjoy this, the fireworks. Be careful of the fireworks of hell fire. He will rain it down. It's time to repent right now. Right now, heed to these words for you will regret it for the rest of your life. And when I say the rest of your life, I mean eternity, people. Eternity. This life here that we live here is a joke. Is a joke. All the riches of this world, all the money, all the mansions that you could possibly get is nothing compared to eternal life. It's nothing compared to heaven. But don't keep your eyes just on, on heaven. Also look at hell. That's where you're going if you keep sinning. That's where you're going if you don't trust Jesus Christ. If you guys are friends, tell each other that you need to repent.
just like you guys are seeking shelter under these huts. Seek shelter under Jesus. Seek shelter under Jesus. The Bible is like the umbrella. It protects you. It keeps your sanity. It keeps you thinking logically. Foolish is the one that says there is no God. If you turn away from him now and, and you die tonight, so will Jesus. He will turn away from you and he will say, depart from me for I never knew you. Don't ignore my words. Don't ignore Jesus Christ. Don't ignore him. Put on the umbrella of life. Put on the umbrella of Jesus Christ. Repent. Seek him with all your heart and he will and you will find him. Seek shelter people. Christianity is the best religion in the world. The best one for you know, it's the only religion that that points to sin. It's the only religion that points to Jesus Christ. It's the only re religion that points to God, your maker. People, it's time to worship him. Many of you came for for the fireworks, but little did you know that you actually came here for the, for the word of God. Again, seek shelter in Jesus Christ. Look for him, seek him, and you will find him. Repent from your sins. Repent means to turn away. It means to stop doing it. It doesn't mean to say, sorry, God, I sinned once again. It doesn't mean that I'll keep doing it. It doesn't mean it's a ticket to sin. No, it means stop it, to live holy. Stop your drinking. Stop, stop doing drugs. Repent. Stop wasting your time to just go see fireworks and have a good time. The books will be open and it'll be judged according to the things that are written in the books. And whosoever's name was not found written in the book of life, they will be cast into a lake of fire, which is the second death. There are two deaths that you have to worry about. Two, your first death. It is appointed unto man wants to die. You know, everyone in Times Square someday will die. They will die. You have to cry out to God now before it's too late. Your life is short. It's like a vapor that appears for a little while and vanishes away. That's what Jane 4 says. It's a vapor. But then, there's a second death. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. But you don't understand the goodness of God. You don't understand the severity of God. You, you, you hear the preaching. You hear the teaching. You've heard evangelists and prophets and apostles come to you and tell you and warn you of the wrath to come. And you continue in your iniquity. You continue hating God. But the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. They're opposed to each other. You can't fear God and, and love evil. You have no fear of God in your hearts. No fear of God in your eyes. That's why you depart into iniquity instead of departing from iniquity. Another problem with New, no New York, you know a big problem with New York is all this gangster rap music. Yes, gangster rap music promotes a life of sex, drugs, and violence. It's rebellion against God. You know that dirtbag Jay-Z? He says, he said, call me Jehovah. He said, just call me Jehovah. That's blasphemy, that's right. Blasphemy against God. He's not Jehovah. This gangster rap music that promotes sin is promoting Satanism. Anything that promotes sin is promoting Satanism. So it's no wonder you have so much violence. Kids killing kids because they're filling their soul with that gangster rap music through their earphones. What you need to fill your mind with is the word of God. Fill your mind with the truth of God, the wisdom of God, the righteousness of God. This is good for your soul.
When was the last time you read your Bible? When was the last time you opened up this book to feed your soul with spiritual nutrients? Yes, King James, absolutely. You know, every life you have to make choices. Everyone makes choices. Why make stupid choices? Why choose sin? Choose God. Why choose the devil? Choose the Lord. Why fill your mind with pollution? Why fill your heart with filth? Fill your heart and mind with the purity of God's Word. Yes. The, the Muslims. I'll tell you what. No, Christians and Muslims do not worship the same God. I worship the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, we all have the law of nature. We know it's wrong to murder innocent people through nature. So if anything tells you otherwise, whether it be gangster rap or the Quran, you shouldn't listen to it. Now the problem with the Quran, it's just one book, one book, written by one man, a self-proclaimed prophet named Muhammad. The Bible is 66 books, 40 different authors, over thousands of years, multiple eyewitness accounts. Well, Mormon, Mormonism is also a counterfeit. They also have one prophet, Joseph Smith, who gave them another book that contradicts, that contradicts what the apostles and prophets already said. Muhammad contradicted the prophets. Joseph Smith contradicted the prophets. We don't just have one gospel, we have four. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Eyewitness accounts that Jesus rose from the dead. The devil creates counterfeits. And his religion is destruction. Look at the destruction the Middle East brings, the Muslims bring. They say it's the religion of peace. Do you believe that? Is Islam a peaceful religion? Muhammad was not a peaceful man. Muhammad was a man of war. Yeah, yeah well, I'm not even arguing that point, sure. But, uh, if Islam were a religion of peace, the Middle East would be the most peaceful place on earth. But it's not, because Muhammad was a murderer, and so are his followers. But Jesus did not murder his enemies. Jesus died. In hell, many pray, but nobody hears their prayers. There is not one atheist in hell. They all believe. They all believe in God. But you know what's the problem? It's too late. Once you jump into hell, it's over. It's over. There's no coming back. You can't get out of there. You don't have a lawyer. Be careful. I have one. I have a lawyer. A lawyer that cleanses me of my sins. A priest. A high priest that intercedes for me. And I've been forgiven through his blood. And now I come, I come to tell you to call you on to obedience. Come and obey Jesus alongside with me. And then you will be my brother. Jesus said, who is my father? Who is my mother? Who is my brother? Pointing at his disciples, he said, Behold, this is my brother and my mother, those who do the will of my Father. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. No todos los que dicen, Señor, Señor, van a entrar al reino de los cielos. La palabra dice que si tú quieres hacer mi hermano, entonces tienes que hacer la voluntad de mi Padre que está en los cielos. Teme a Jehová y vive. Fear God and you shall live. Fear God and you will live. A fool. A fool would not fear a lion. You see a lion from afar and you're not going to go cuddle with it. 
That's the same. What about the one who made the lion? The lion of Judah. Don't you think you can just cuddle up with him? You have to be holy. The Bible says, be holy as I am holy. Be perfect as your heavenly Father in heaven is perfect. You must repent, forsake your sins, trust in Christ, follow him and obey him. If children are like their parents, if you behave like the devil, then guess what? He's your father. If you resemble Jesus Christ, then he is your brother. And we have the same father in heaven to do the will of God. We need to deny ourselves to do the will of God. You need to stop caring about what people think. I'm not here to win a popular popularity context. I'm here to tell you the truth, what people want to hide these days. The truth of God, it's found in his word. Whether you like it or not, it is written that it is appointed for a man once to die. And after this, the judgment. Are you ready for that day? La Biblia dice que está apuntado al que el hombre muera una vez y después de eso viene el juicio, el juicio de Dios. ¿Estás listo para el juicio de Dios? Va a ser santo, va a ser perfecto, va a ser puro. God's judgment will be perfect. God's judgment will be faithful. And when he casts the sinners into hell, the saints will say, Amen. God, you have done right because you have destroyed your enemies. Many, the average lifespan is around 80, 80 years here in America. 80 years. The first five you spend as a child. The last 30 you spend as a crippled, shrimp-like, old, raggedy man or woman. You only have a limited time span to, to dedicate your life to God. Don't waste away your, your, work, your life. Seek the Lord. Read your Bibles. Read your Bibles. No one knows when they're going to die, but I guarantee you, you will die. Each and every one of you will die at one point. Everybody, everybody will die at one point. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter of your past. You all have an appointment with death. But it doesn't end there, people. It doesn't end at death. A lot of people think they lay at rest in their tombstones. Wrong, wrong, it does not end there. It does not end. Oh, but it's the beginning, my people. It's the beginning of your life. It's the beginning of eternity. Two choices, heaven or hell, that's it. There is no reincarnation. There is no going back to the soil. And that's it, there is no utter destruction. Two choices, two choices, heaven or hell. Hell, it's easy to go to hell. You just gotta keep doing what you're doing right now. Keep doing what you're doing right now and hell awaits. However, there is another path. There is hope, there is hope. And the only way to obtain this hope is through Jesus Christ. He is the only way. No other religion comes close to it. No other religion is better. Islam, well, Islam says if you kill a few infidels and you die in battle, you go straight to heaven. It's a lie, people. It's a lie. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. It is a narrow way. What? Well, he can be loud enough to be heard. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for that policeman. I've gotten closer to you guys. Amen. Amen. Now you guys can hear me loud and clearly, amen. So now where was I? Oh, yes. Heaven or hell, two ways. Only two ways, people. There is no reincarnation. You don't come back as a bumblebee. You don't come back as a roach. No, no, there's eternal life. Only two ways. 
damnation or salvation. One way, Jesus. How do, how do you get to Jesus? Repentance. Turn away from your sin. Read your Bible. Trust and believe the Lord. Only one way, people. Buddha, Islam, Confucius, they can't do anything for you. Right now, they're all in hell. They're in hell. Everybody, everybody that dies and doesn't believe in Jesus Christ are in hell. Those people that are smoking cigarettes are most likely in hell as well. Those standing on a pedestal raising their voice are most likely in hell as well. Ma'am, you need to repent. You need to repent and know I'm not going to hell for I have accepted Jesus Christ. I live holy now. I don't sin. I don't sin. I turn away from it. I turn away from it. Christ, he stretches out his arms to you and he wants you to repent. He compels you to repent. He commands all men everywhere to repent. He's appointed a day in which to judge the world. It can come at any moment. Huh? Yeah, I got a Bible. What about Romans 5, 8. Yeah, Christ, Christ commendeth his love for us in this. While we fight for his enemies, Muslims put people in hospitals. Christians build hospitals. Christians build orphanages. Muslims make orphans because the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that you might have life. So one is a religion of God, one is a religion of the devil. Islam's a religion of the devil. Just look at the fruit. How do you know if it's an apple tree, whether it has apples or not? If it has peaches, it's not an apple tree. And God is love. And if the fruit of a religion is not love, if the fruit of a religion is suicide bombers, that religion is not of God. Call them to repent like I'm doing now. How do you change someone's mind? By reasoning with them. Oh, self-defense, yeah. That's what the Crusades were, essentially, self-defense. No, the Muslims were trying to take over. They took over Jerusalem. They were invading Europe. And uh, the Crusades were to try and keep them at bay. Look at Europe today. Through immigration, the Muslims are taking over. Oh, it's a tragedy what's happening in Europe now. Oh, well, certain immigration is, yes. No, the mass immigration. No. The mass immigration of Islam into Europe is a problem. But the solution is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only hope. Jesus Christ is the only hope. And I've seen, I've seen Muslims come to Jesus. God gives them visions and dreams. And Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And their Muslims will be converted from their religion of hate to the religion of love, which is Christianity, the religion of love. But what about your own life? What sins do you have in your life today? How many sins have you committed today? That's right. I'm asking, what sin do you have in your life? Are you pure today? By Jesus Christ, you can be pure. He can give you a new heart, a pure heart. But do you have a free will? Well, what forces you to sin? Puberty forces you to sin? Oh, concupiscence, desire. And we're having a good conversation. This is great. 
Yeah, no, yeah. Well, concupiscence is desire. You can control your desires. I used to be a drug addict. But when I, I started to choose to say no, I was controlling my desires. It's called self-control. And then those desires went away. They subsided. God gave you a free will. That means you are without excuse. You can't say, oh, I had these desires. I couldn't help it. Or Adam made me do it. No, on judgment day, you're accountable for your own free will. So yeah, you can become pure in heart. You can choose Jesus. Choose to obey God rather than sin. The Bible says, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. You can't go to heaven in your sin. Because then heaven would be no better than earth. Heaven will be heaven because there's no sin there. That's why salvation starts with repentance. You change your mind about sin. See how selfish it is, how stupid it is. Make up your mind to sin no more in repentance. You know, if you're a drunkard, put down the bottle, pick up the Bible. If you're a pothead, put down the blunt and pick up the Bible. Whatever your sin is, whatever your wickedness is, those, blessed are those who mourn, because they will be comforted. Blessed are those who thirst and hunger after righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Bienaventurados los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque ellos van a ser saciados. Teme a Jehová y vivirás. El principio de la sabiduría es el temor. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. Do you fear of God? Do you fear Him? We know that He loves us, but the question is, do you love Him? Sabemos que Dios nos ama, pero la pregunta es, ¿amas tú a Dios? Jesús dijo, si me amas, guarda mis mandamientos. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And He said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not keep my commandments? La Biblia dice, ¿Por qué me llamas Señor, Señor, y no guardas mis mandamientos? It's a lie. It's hypocritical. You don't believe somebody who does wrong to you all the time, and they tell you they love you with their lips, and then behind your back they steal from you. They're unfaithful to you. They cheat you. They lie to you. Guess what? That person doesn't love you because actions speak louder than words. Uh, St. James spoke, and he said, Show me your faith. Show me your faith and I will show you mine with my works because faith without works is dead. Dice Santiago que me enseñes tu fe y yo te voy a enseñar la mía con mis hechos. ¿Cómo es que sabes que yo le creo a Dios? Porque yo vivo lo que predico porque estoy acá en obediencia. ¿Sabes qué? La Biblia dice que los demonios creen en Dios y que tiemblan, le tienen miedo a Dios. Pero tú, ser humano, tú no le temes a Dios. Tú crees que es un chiste. Tú crees que Dios es un osito polar que te va a dar un abrazo. Pero ten, ten cuidado que va a venir aquel día que Él va a juzgar a cada hombre por cada hecho. Be careful. Some of you think that Jesus Christ is a teddy bear and He's coming back to give hugs and kisses. Be careful. I'm warning you now. He's coming with a sword and He's going to slice and dice His enemy into pieces. He's going to dash the nations. Are you ready? Are you ready? The Bible says that demons believe demons believe and they tremble they have better faith than some of you today because you don't fear God you don't fear God demons fear God and they tremble they believe him so just because you believe in God doesn't mean you're a Christian just because you believe in God doesn't make you save repent you must leave your sins behind no man no it is a blessing it is a blessing when you suffer for Jesus Christ in and out of season preach the word so says the Bible so no, people with ponchos seek the kingdom of God. You need to put the poncho of the Bible. You need to put the poncho of the scripture. Guard it in your heart. Repent. Seek the Lord. Seek it. Many of you came for the fireworks, but you guess what? You're not getting it. God doesn't want you to see the fireworks. 
God wants you to repent and believe in Him. Seek the Lord just as you're seeking shelter. Seek the Lord just as you're seeking shelter. It is time to repent. Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait, people. For it will be too late, man. It will be too late. Don't regret this day, people. Don't regret it. Many of you have at least once in your life pleaded to God if you're out there. Send me a sign. Send me something. Lord, if you're out there, send me a sign. Well, here it is. Here's your sign. What are you going to do about it? It's in front of your face. The Bible's in front of your face. The sign is in front of your face, the one that you wanted. Now what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to brush it off? Are you going to say, no, that's not me. I never asked for a sign. I didn't ask for it, God. You need to put on Jesus Christ. You need to put on Jesus Christ as your armor. He is the only way. He is the only way. Seek repentance. No, no, I don't touch sinners. I don't know where that has where that hand has been. Who knows what you've done with that hand? No, no way. I don't want to touch sinners. They most likely have STDs. They're in, they have infections. Do you know STDs are a curse from God for those who commit adultery and all types of sins? That's a curse. Many people don't think there's curses anymore. Oh, this rain is a curse. This rain is a curse as well from God. God curses people. God curses your genitals. God curses your day. God curses your life because you have to work. God curses people. And guess what? Not only does he curse people, he sends people to hell. He sends him straight to hell. Yes, that is my Lord. That is my savior for he has power to do so. And he's justified in doing it. Many of you think you're good people. That you're so humble. Oh, that you're just living life and hey, you don't kill anybody. You don't hurt anybody, so it's okay. It's okay to keep living my lifestyle. No, no. The Lord says, do not trust your heart for it is deceitful. Your heart is deceitful. Do not trust it. Do not trust your heart. You aren't good. If you're not a Christian, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're a hor horrible person. You're not good. You're not good. The only way to be good is to accept Jesus Christ. He is the only way that leads to life. Let the rain touch me. Let the rain remind you of God's judgment. And remember, the next time that God wipes out this world, He will do it with fire, with fire. You won't be able to seek shelter. You won't be able to go under a hut as you are right now. No, it's good. the fire will burn straight through that hut and you're gonna face it. It's gonna eat you alive. And from there, it doesn't end there, people. And then you'll have a nice permanent lawn vacation in hell. Even worse, in hell. Don't go there, people. It is your choice to go there. Don't think that God simply throws people into hell out of sheer just coincidence. No, you send yourself there. You send yourself there, people. We're still yet sinners. Christ died for us. Christ died for the ungodly. Yeah. Now, I mean, what's the nature of sin? It's a choice. It's a choice. That's, that's the nature of sin. Getting drunk is a choice. Getting high is a choice. Sleeping around with hoochies and hoes is a choice. Well, they are creations of God. What's that? Yeah, well, God, God invented sex. Sex was God's idea, but it, it, but it's for marriage. One man, 
one woman in marriage. But if you're whoring around or whoremongering around, you're using and abusing the creation of God. If you're, if you're treating a woman like a whore, she's a creation of God, you're abusing her, you're using her. That's, Nonsense. Nonsense. No. Hey. If you. No, no. If you love each other, get married. Why would she have fantasies of rape? Why would she have fantasies of rape? That's a perverted desire. She wants to have... Wicked! 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 Any man who wants to tie up a woman is wicked. What? That's... That's fantasy of rape. No, no, no. What, hey, what if someone just has a desire to smoke crack? That's what they want to do? Should they just be allowed to do it? No, it's self-destruction. Just part of kinky sex with a with your man or wife, your husband or wife, who you got married to church is wrong. Because I'll tell you what, when you go down the road of fantasy, the road of lust, you'll never be satisfied. You'll become more and more perverted, more and more corrupt. There's no satisfaction for your lust. Because you're actually perverting the neurons of your mind. But when you do it God's way, hey, one man, one woman in marriage, they only think about each other. They only sleep with each other. They do it God's way. Oh, then there's natural satisfaction. So. Okay. That's right. They are the Jews. Yeah. Yes. So what does that make them? Makes them sinners without a savior. Because every Jew has sinned. Every man has sinned. And if you don't have Jesus, doesn't matter how good you are, how many good works you have, how pharisaical, pharisaical you are with the law, you're a sinner without a savior. Your good works, listen to this, your good works can never make up for your bad because you're obligated to always obey. So you never have any extra obedience to cover up your disobedience. You can never obey above what you should have done. So no amount of obedience can atone for sin. Only the blood of Jesus, only by the mercy and grace of God through Jesus, can you have your sin forgiven. You know, so let's say you, uh, you, know, you stole, you lied, you slept around, but now you help old ladies cross the street. So what? You should have always been a nice guy. That doesn't merit heaven. Heaven is too good to merit. Heaven is the presence of God. You can't deserve that. So it must come by grace. And grace is only found in Jesus Christ. The law came through Moses. And the Orthodox Jews have that. But grace comes through Jesus Christ. The first message that John the Baptist spoke was repentance. The first message that Jesus, that Jesus Christ spoke was repentance. Why don't we hear repentance in the pulpits today? All we hear, God's gonna bless you. God's gonna give you a house. God's gonna give you money and cars and all this crap. It's all gonna perish. It's all gonna disappear. Are you ready to meet your maker? Are you holy enough to stand before him? And guess what, if you're not, because I wasn't, you need to repent. You need Jesus not to enhance your life. You need Jesus so he can save your life. That's the point. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? I don't want money. I don't want fame. I don't want, I don't want women. I want eternal life with Jesus Christ. I want to be holy. I want to be righteous. I want to be his son. And guess what? I seek immortality and glory. What are you looking for today? Are you looking for money? Are you looking for pleasure? Are you looking for a moment? What's, why? Your life is vain. 
Your life is like a vapor. You are like the grass of the field that's here today and gone tomorrow. What will you do for eternity? There's only two places. And if you don't like hot places, then I don't recommend going to hell. I recommend you repent right now. I recommend you repent now. And there is no party in hell. No party. It's been canceled due to the fire. Beware. If you don't like hot places, repent and come to Christ. There is no love in hell. There is no love in hell. There is only hatred. There is only anger. Did you know that there's worms in hell? There's actually worms that never die. Worms that don't extinguish. They keep going and eating you alive. They eat you alive, people. Don't go there. Don't go there. The only place is heaven. Heaven. Heaven is the best place to go to, people. Hallelujah. And guess what? There's only one way to get there. And no, it's not by being a good person. No, it's not by giving to the needy. No. Hallelujah. It's by Jesus Christ. It's by Jesus Christ. My works, my deeds, my alms cannot do it. Amen. Amen. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're happy. They can pray for you. Um, can I have a prayer? You can. Okay. You can. But remember to repent. Remember to repent, people. Tonight, I hope you have nightmares of hell. I hope you suffer. You suffer out of fear. Out of fear. I hope that your knees shakes. Your knees may buckle. Out of fear for your maker. For he is holy and just. And he will send you straight to hell if you don't repent. If you don't repent. People, it's time to pack up your sin and throw it in the garbage. Turn away from your sin. Believe in Jesus Christ. He is the only way. He is the only way. You're here for a reason. And no, it's not to see fireworks. God reigned on your parade today, people. God reigned on your parade. For it is not, that's not the reason you came here for. The reason you came here is to, is to listen to his word and for you today to make a choice. One choice, people. Jesus Christ, that is the best choice. That's the only choice you could make that will lead to salvation. As I say all the time, You've seen the leaves, you've seen the baby, you've seen the butterfly, you've seen the cosmos. You know that there's a God. You know that this didn't come from nothing. That this came from someone who is righteous, someone who is perfect, someone who knows what he is doing. A creator, it all came from somewhere, something. It all came from somewhere, an intelligent mind. But these, uh, these quack professors would tell you that everything came from a dot that just exploded. There's just some little dot that, that just had a whole bunch of energy and it just exploded. You know, no causation, no nothing, it just happened. And it came from nothing. Well, you, you, go, to, you go to college for how many years? Four years, six years, eight years? You get your PhD and you emerge saying that it just came from a dot, I know it all. I know it all, I just read a, I just read Stephen Hawkins, and I figured out that it all came from a dot. You guys are fools. Your college professors are fools. It all came from an intelligent mind that commands you to repent. Yeah, he wants a relationship with you, and he laid down his life for you to show you how to live. Hold on, one at a time here. Let's give this guy a chance. What do you say? I can't hear. Yeah, the Bible says, Go ye therefore in all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. There's sinners in New York, so that's why I'm here. Yes. Now Jesus was a Jew. If you're if you're really going to be a good Jew, you'll be a Jew for Jesus. There are sinners. What's that? There's not more sinners in New York than there are anywhere else. No, actually, there's more sinners in New York. 
because New York has a higher population. I am a, I am a street preacher. I'm not a pastor. I'm a street preacher. This is what I do. I go out to where the sinners are at. To pre the homosexuals. I am not a Catholic anymore. Hey, watch your language. Hey, Lee. That guy's trouble, man. No, yeah, no problem, man. Okay. Jesus Christ was Jewish. Jesus was a Jew. His apostles were Jewish. The Jewish prophets like Isaiah testified of Jesus in Isaiah 53. So if you're really going to be a good Jew, you'd be a Jew for Jesus. Hey, can you not threaten people? That's not good. If you threaten them with violence, that's a sin. That doesn't, it's not helping me if you think it is. It's not. I'm not with him. I don't know him. I know, I know. I told him, stop being violent. That's a sin. Yeah, and the drug. Because it's legal doesn't make it right. Yeah. I'm not. I agree. I'm, I keep moving to try and get away. He's threatening people. That's not helping me. It doesn't help. Just leave them alone. Yeah, leave them alone. Yeah, they, let, let them say whatever they want. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. God bless you, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. So the Bible says God is calling all men everywhere to repent. That means everyone in New York. Hey, New York is full of drug dealers. New York is full of prostitutes. New York is full of homosexuals, liars, and thieves. And the message of God for every one of them is repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you'll perish. Now I have friends who are Christians who used to be prostitutes. Christians who used to be homosexuals. Christians who used to be liars and thieves. But by the power of God, by the power of the gospel, they've been changed. I don't know him. I'm not from New York. Oh, well, I'm not a Catholic anymore. I used to be a Catholic as a kid. But when I read the Bible, I saw things that didn't fit with their tradition and the scripture. So at, fift at 15, oh, tons of hypocrisy, especially how they coddle and comfort these pedophiles. So, what have we learned today? Are there any questions? Do we have any doubters in the crowd? Or do we all agree? Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sister. Let us practice what we preach. Jesus is coming soon. This nation is wicked. Hempstead is wicked. Our nation is falling and destroying itself. Abortion. We are sacrificing our children at the altar of, of the clinics of Planned Parenthood. And guess what? God's going to call you into judgment. One day I made a very stupid decision to fornicate with a certain woman and we almost had a child. And every day, every day I think about how that that child's blood is on my hands. I killed my own offspring. Only the wicked can teach you this. Only a fool, only an animal, only a person who believes in evolution. Evolution, that's what it is. They teach you that you're an animal. They teach you that there is no morals. You go to philosophy class and you learn that there is no right or wrong. It's just relative. Is it relative? Are you okay with somebody? Is the thief okay with another thief stealing from him? That's when he notices it's wrong. Is the adulterer or the fornicator okay when somebody fornicates with his girlfriend? Is he? Is he? No. It's there's a right and there's a wrong. And I don't care how much the rules change here in the U.S. Because Obama is not God. He is not my God. I have no fear of that man. Even though he may change the rules in this place. Even though he may do whatever he wants. They could take my head 
and I'll get a quicker ticket to heaven. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting for the day. You know the Muslims are coming. They're gonna chop our heads off. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to meet God? Are you ready? Stop playing games with God. He's not playing games with you. He gave his life for you. And what have you done for him? You've turned your back on him. You've taken his grace and you practice lawlessness. Repent, repent because his kingdom is near. It's even at the door. Jesus is turning the doorknob. He's coming soon, repent. You know these lukewarm Christians, they don't want Christ to come back now. They're having a good time down here. But I'm not from here, I'm from heaven. Where are you from? Are you from earth? Are you from heaven? Or are you from hell? Do you know if you're from hell or heaven? Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Now, the boring part is over, and I will leave you with my brother Jesse for some further enter entertainment. May God bless you, and may you repent and find salvation in Jesus Christ. You see how nature extinguishes all your fun? Just a little bit of rain is all it takes for you to pack up. Just a little bit of rain is all it takes for you to lose business. Imagine rain and fire. Imagine fire. Imagine it, people. Fire. Fire isn't forgiving like rain. Fire consumes you. It consumes you. Starting from your skin, to your organs, to your bones, until all that's left are ashes. That's all that's gonna be left. You may deny the Lord, you may deny God today, but that doesn't make him go away, people. Denying the Lord, God, does not make him go away. You could say, there is no God. You could say, I believe in reincarnation. It doesn't go away, people. It's time, it's time, people. Do not wait, do not wait for tomorrow. Do not wait for, for next week. Today's the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You know, behind me, there's protesters that are prote protesting about Black Lives Matter. Listen, Jesus Christ was the first one that said all lives matter. He didn't give any kind of distinction between color. He didn't give any distinction between class. He didn't give any distinction between sexes. Everybody matters in the eyes of God. That's why Jesus Christ came to die for the sins of the world. Christ did not die in vain. He died because he wants to save your soul and because you need to be reconciled with him. That's a bad idea. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose your soul. I believe, I, I would not be surprised. You, sir, have a hell-deserving attitude. Uh, you're pretty close. You're pretty... And you're just making everyone scared for nothing. Piece of shit. You're a potty mouth. You're theatrical. Yes. Very theatrical. Delusional. But, uh, hey! At least he vocalized how many people are living, though they don't admit it. He said, F God, F God. Now, not everybody says that, but if you're sinning, that's your attitude. If you're a sinner, you're saying, hey, forget God. I'm gonna live my own life. If you're living in sin, you're saying, I don't care about God. So at least he's confessing the attitude. Many sinners try and flatter themselves. Oh, I'm a good person. I deserve heaven. No, you don't deserve heaven. You're not good enough for heaven. You're bad enough for hell. Bad enough for hell. And it's only by grace, only by mercy, only by Jesus Christ that you can have your sin forgiven. So do we have any questions so far? Any rebuttals, rebukes? Do we all agree? Do we all agree? Do you have a Bible? 
Well, I'm doing my best to try to persuade them. Yeah, free speech is awesome. Yeah, amen. Uh, the right to peacefully assemble, freedom of the speech, debate the issues. The only way to change a mind is by reasoning, rationale. And I'll tell you, Christianity is reasonable. We have eyewitness accounts, prophecies that came to pass through the prophets. I mean, we know there's a God. Look at the order of the universe. Look at the design of the human body. Sin is foolish. So to preach Christianity is to preach, you know, reason. Do you feel science? Science, the idea of evolution is sin. Well, the word science simply means knowledge. This is science. This is knowledge. The knowledge of God. Or is that the words of man? But all the words of God. But this idea that you came from an animal, or we all evolved from a single cell. That's fairy tales for grown-ups. Wait, question. What about God guiding evolution? What's that? What about the idea of divine guidance on evolution? Where God guided it to happen according to his plan? Yeah, that's, that's better for comic books than reality, like X-Men or Planet of the Apes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's not but funny. that is... No, no, no. No, you're confusing sci-fi with science. That is sci Fi. Yeah, there is no proof in any of the fossil record of transitional species. There's no proof, only conjecture, that we evolved from a single cell. God created Adam and Eve. To say that man came from a man, that's rational. Hey, no problem with that. That's what we see every day. Reproduction. Men and women come from men and women. Well, we've never seen a single cell evolve into some type of species. We've never seen these transitional species that they supposedly claim. No, this, the evolution, macro evolution that we all evolve from a single cell is absolutely contrary to God, contrary to Genesis. If you repent, you don't have to perish. But Jesus said, unless you repent, you will perish. So I want you to know today, if you're living in sin, going out, getting drunk, getting high, sleeping around, I know many of you walking around, listening to your gangster rap music that promotes sex, drugs, and violence, corrupting and polluting your heart I want you to know you're in trouble with God the Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day every day God is angry with the wicked every day so if you're out getting high you're under the anger of God if you're out getting drunk you're under the anger of God if you're out sleeping around, you're under the anger of God. But the Bible says you can be reconciled to God. When God goes from being your enemy to being your friend, when you go from being the enemy of God to being the friend of God, you see, by your life, you either serve God or serve the devil. Your choices makes you a servant of God or a servant of the devil. And to be reconciled is to give up your enmity with God, to give up your rebellion towards God. And the blood of Jesus Christ can reconcile you. Jesus Christ has loved you like no other man has ever loved you. Jesus Christ shed his blood and died for you and you should love him in return the blood of Jesus Christ can reconcile you to God thank you Lord for raining down on this parade thank you for making these people lose business I thank you Lord for much sin was going to happen here much sin was going to happen 
I thank you for leading all these people to me, stuck here, working, putting things away, forcing them to listen to you, forcing them to make a decision today, heaven or hell, Jesus or the devil. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in God. It doesn't matter. You can only serve two masters in this world, Jesus Christ or the devil. That's right, or the devil. The devil, people. You may say, oh no, I don't, I don't believe in God or the devil. He fooled you. The devil fooled you. He fooled you into believing in him. He fooled you. It's time to pack up your sin, people. Don't just pack up those things. Pack up your sin and throw it away. Don't save it for another day, for a profitable day. No, throw it out. Throw out your sin. Repent. Trust in Jesus Christ. Folks, many people have many types of agendas, just like the people behind me. But their agenda is not the will of God. God does not want you young people just to live your lives and then that's it. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter your background. What matters is, is that if you don't repent of your sins, folks, you're gonna die in your sins. Jesus Christ said this, Jesus Christ said, if you don't believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. If you don't believe that Christ died for you and that His very purpose for your life is for you to know Him, then that means that you have wasted your life. Like the people behind me, what they're chanting, what they're singing, their agenda, in the end, it means absolutely nothing. What matters is, is that you're right with God. And that's why we're giving you this message, folks. Yes. Thirty-three AD. Thirty-three AD. Yes, sir. When he was thirty-three years old. Well, it was written in the lifetime of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But well, well. Well, by the Bible, the, the, well, it's a complicated question. There's 66 books here, many of which were written before Jesus was born. Ezekiel, Isaiah were before he was born. Yeah, the Torah. What about the books that were banished the Bible? Genesis was written by Moses before Jesus. books that were banished from the Bible? So you can't... For unseen reasons. No, they weren't banished. They didn't make the cut. They never made the cut because they were counterfeit. That's a big difference. Yeah, like the Gospel of Thomas or the Gospel of Judas, the Gospel of Mary. They were fakes, frauds, counterfeits that were certainly written long after those people lived. They were written by a group called the Gnostics with heretical views, trying to make their views credible by stealing those names. But what we do have is authentic. You know how I know? Because the disciples of the apostles would quote from these writings. Men who knew the apostles, who were trained by the apostles, would quote from them. So we know them to be credible. Well, Mary Magdalene, the Bible says, was a woman delivered from demons. Some speculate that she was the prostitute. The Bible doesn't say that. But she was delivered from demons. And if Jesus can save Mary Magdalene, then Jesus can save New Yorkers. You don't believe in demons? I believe in demons. I've seen them. That sounds more sci-fi to me. Oh, I've, I've had them. I was delivered from demons. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's great evil in this world. Serial killers, psychos, great evil. There is, the, there is a devil. There are demons. That's very rational for me to believe. I've seen it. Talk about science, empirical science. I've seen it. Yes. No, I preach the gospel. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure that there's, you know, a shadow government and all that, you know, secret society, skull and bones, masons, sure. But my message is the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is my message. Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus conquered the grave. Jesus conquered 
what Caesar couldn't conquer, what Napoleon couldn't conquer, what Alexander couldn't conquer, what Hitler couldn't conquer, Jesus conquered the grave. Not even Mohammed rose from the dead, not even Buddha, not Krishna, not Confucius. Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, rose from the dead, was seen by eyewitnesses, and is alive today, changing lives. He's changed me, and I'm not the only one here to testify. I don't want your ball. I'm not the only one here to testify. I got other brothers you want to testify? Who have a testimony of Jesus, that Jesus Christ is alive, that he rose from the dead, and there's power, power in the gospel that many of you have never known, that you've never tasted, that you've never dreamed about. Power to change the human heart. Jesus came and manifested the very heart of God. He went around healing the sick, casting out devils, doing good to man, revealing the very heart of God. You see, the devil is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil says, hey, you want to roll a little fatty Philly blunt? Go ahead and smoke it. The devil says, hey, you want to get drunk? Here's your 40. The devil says, hey, why don't you go sleep around with some hoochies and hoes? Because the devil's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. He doesn't care if you die from alcohol poisoning. He doesn't care if you get STDs. He's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ died to save your soul, to change your life. And Jesus said, go and sin no more. That's a good idea. Go and sin no more. Look at your life. Look at your family. Look at your friends. Can't you see the destruction of sin? Can't you see the devastation caused by sin? Oh, the ways of God are right. The ways of God are wise. The ways of God. It's how you ought to live your life. Now the Bible says, He that sins is of the devil. But whosoever has been born of God does not commit sin. So how do you know if you're a child of God or a child of the devil? By whether you're living a lifestyle of sin. If you're sinning every day in word, thought, and deed, then you are of the devil. You're not serving God. You're serving the devil. You're siding with God. Or you're siding against God. You're siding with the devil in his rebellion against God. Oh no! Is that devil music? Is that devil music? Turn it down. Turn that music down, people. Can't you see the word of God is being preached here? That music is not appreciated here. You're making people mad here. You're making people mad here. It, hey, that's annoying. That music is annoying people. Instead, you need to put some church music. You need to turn up some church music that worships God. Put that rap garbage away. Oh, thank you guys, thanks. But not just that, repent. Don't just turn down the volume. You need to repent and trust Jesus. Do that. You know what? You could keep that music, just repent. Repent. Trust in God. Trust in Jesus Christ. It's time to pack away your sin, people. Don't think you just came here to make a profit out of these people. Don't think that you're just working here. No, no, that's you're going to be farther from the truth. You came here not just to pack up your stuff, but to listen to God, to make a choice today, to make a choice between heaven or hell, the devil or Jesus. 
Don't think you're just packing and that you're just working here and that you're just here trying to make a living. No, no, God, God brought you here to not just make a living, but a living in eternity. That's why he brought you here. Push back that sin, push it back, push back the sin. Don't let it enter your life. Sin is a disease. It's a disease, people. It's a disease. You need to repent while it's too late. You think you're young. You think you're, you're, you have a whole life ahead of you. You think you're gonna age and die. It might be so. The message of the gospel is very simple. Christ loves you. Christ was not just a prophet. He is the Messiah. He is the Son of God. And the Bible says that if you put your faith and trust in Him, you will be saved. Your religion, Islam, is just a dead religion. Just like every other religion, it's all dead. But Christ is alive. You know, the Bible says this. The Bible says that if you profess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. You could be saved, folks. It doesn't matter if you are Muslim, a Hindu, a Sikh, or whatever you identify with. Even if you identify being a cat or a dog, Christ can change you. All right, New York, you're a rotten apple. And it stinks here. You know what else stinks? Your sin. You know, the stench of your sin has risen up to God and He has sent us to come and call sinners to repentance. You know what? Um, they say that it just takes one rotten apple to stain the whole country and most of the wickedness comes from New York. You probably don't go to church, so God sent church to you. Uh, maybe one of you said, Hey God, why don't you give me a sign that you're real? Why don't you give me a sign that you exist? Behold, here's one, here's one, there's one, there's one. God is calling your attention today. What else does God have to do to get your attention around here? This is getting ridiculous, people. We live in a and these whores are killing their babies. Can you believe it? The safest place used to be the womb. Now it's the most dangerous place in the world. We are sacrificing our children on the altar of Planned Parenthood. Fornication. Fornication is the father of the bastard child of abortion. Shame on you, New York. Shame on you. It's about time somebody starts judging around here. It's about time that somebody starts judging your life. Are you ready to see God? Are you ready to see Him? It's called Judgment Day. Do you know there's a book in the Bible called Judges? You ever heard of Judgment Day? The Bible says that a spiritual man judges all things, but he himself is judged of no one. Are you ready to see God? This great and terrible day but to be born again Jesus said unless a man is born again he will not see the kingdom of God and the Bible says if any man is in Christ he is a new creature the old has passed the new has come Jesus Christ can take a liar and make him honest. Jesus Christ can take a drunkard and make him sober. Jesus Christ can take a homosexual, make them normal and straight. Jesus Christ can wash you and cleanse you of every sin. He can free you from every bondage. Jesus Christ is the only answer and the only hope for America and the world today. And Jesus is alive. I've met him. I know him. He got a hold of my heart when nobody else could. He changed my life when nobody else could. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive and well. And he's there at the right hand of the Father. But I have to warn you, 
Jesus Christ is coming back and he's angry Jesus Christ is coming back and he's not going to be the lamb he's going to be the lion he's not coming back to save the world he's coming back to judge to judge the world every thought you've ever had you'll be judged for every word you've ever spoken you'll be judged for every deed you've ever committed you'll be judged for Jesus Christ is coming back to judge the nations the Bible says out of his mouth comes a double-edged sword and with it he will smite the nations so Jesus is coming back to smite the nations the Bible says he's gonna take the wicked and put them in the wine press of God's wrath he's gonna stomp out the wicked until the blood flows like wine on the feet of the Savior so you have a choice Jesus Christ can either be your friend or your enemy however That's good. I'm happy. Did you guys, have you guys repented? You guys don't sin anymore? Yeah. No uh, sin? Maybe, maybe occasionally. Occasionally? Yeah. Well, you gotta stop it. You gotta stop it. Because that occasional sin can lead you to hell. Did you know that? Did your pastor tell you? Did your parents tell you that? Yeah. They told you that? <laughs> Flee! Flee from God's wrath! Flee! Turn! Go! Go! Don't look back! Turn away from your sin! Turn away from it, people. Just as much as you look into your phone, you should be looking at the Bible. At the Bible. All oh, those hours you spent on your phone, you should spend it on the Bible. Read the Bible, people. Read it. Repent or weep. Repent or weep, people. God is angry with the wicked every day. God throws the Muslim into hell. God throws the Buddhist into hell. God throws the Hindu into hell. You must be born again. You must be born again. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish in hell fire, but have everlasting life. You were not born gay, sir. You were not born gay, lesbians. Jesus Christ can set you free. You had a choice to make. You need to choose Jesus Christ. Get off that crack rock. Get off that weed. Get off that bottle. Don't throw gangster signs at me. Gangsters go to hellfire. You know what? The God of love, the God of the Bible, that what he'll say it that's the most foolish thing I've heard today come on give me a break he'll say he hates you he wants to destroy you I bet she's a smoker too full of bad choices Jesus said if you love me you will keep my commandments there's a lot of lukewarm Christians they're not hot they're not cold they're just lukewarm they're easy going. They fit with the world and they, they fit with Christians sometimes. But I'll tell you what, God will spew them out of their mouth sooner or later. I didn't come here to give you a hug. I didn't get, come here to give you milk and cookies. I didn't come here to collect your money. I came here to tell you the truth. And Jesus said, if you hear the truth, the truth will set you free. Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the way, he is the light the path to the Father and no one comes to the Father but by Him. Therefore, you need to repent. You need to change your ways. New York, judgment is coming upon you. Ready yourself. Ready yourself. The homosexuality that's going on in New York is out of control. It's rampant. It is not love. To rip a man's anus wide open is not love. That is hatred. 
It is hate to say that it is okay to be gay. It's not okay to be gay. You are sick, 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 sick. Shame on you, New York. Repent of your wickedness or God will cast you into hellfire forever and ever 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 I think you get the picture let me give you a preview of what hell sounds like get me out of this flame do you know in hell many people pray but nobody listens to their prayers it's a terrible thing there's a thousand ways to get to hell but there's only one way out that is Jesus Christ are you ready for him to judge your life oh happy meek Jesus skipping down the sand of the the sea of Galilee I'll tell you what he's coming back as a roaring lion and in his hand he has a sword and he's gonna chop his enemies down to size will you be his friend will you be his enemy repent repent if you love yourself you would repent if you are smart Jesus Christ can either be your Savior or your executioner He's going to say on that great and terrible day, on Judgment Day, bring those enemies of mine that would not have me to reign over them and slay them before me. Now America is turning its back on God. America is getting more satanic every day. Take the Bible out of school take prayer out of school, legalize abortion, legalize homosexuality. America is getting more satanic every day. So America needs to turn. You need to turn back to God while you can. Turn back to God while you're able. Because you're going to die. One day it'll be your last day. You will take your last breath. And the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die. And then after this comes the judgment. The judgment. After you die, God will judge you. The Bible says for every idle word, for every idle word, you'll give an account to God for now think, how many times have you taken the name of God in vain? How many times have you ever blasphemed the name of Jesus Christ? And you have to stand before a holy God and give an account for every word that you spoke. Oh, it'll be a great and terrible day for the wicked on Judgment Day. No, you don't get to shop around where you're going in the afterlife. You don't get to shop around, check out the prices, check out the toppings. No, there's only two choices, people. It's the worst menu ever. Only two choices you get, heaven or hell. And there's no, there's, there's only one giant price to pay. And that's just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing and hell awaits. The one that leads to heaven is pricey. It's pricey, but guess what? Somebody already paid it for you. Do you know who? You know who? Sure. Jesus Christ paid it for you. They're going to hell. They are going straight to hell. Your, your pastor didn't tell you this? Uh, not, not like that, no. No? No. Well, good. I came here for a good reason then. Today, I'm here to tell you that gay people are going to hell. Straight to hell. They're not. God's not going to say, well, let me think about it. No. They're going to go straight to hell. Yeah, I thought you were a Christian. And you dance like that? <laughs> Why are you wagging around your 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 rear end? No, oh, it's good for the child for the children to hear this. They need to know the truth. In school, do you know that? Do you know that in school they teach you ev evolution? Yeah. No, I go you to know Catholic about school. that? I go to Catholic school. Oh no. Oh, what what do they teach you there about St. Mary? The creation. They teach us about creation. 
creation? Do you have to worship Mary there? Between Mary and, and Jesus. Oh, no. no. Don't oh. go to Mary. You know where she leads you? Where? where? To hell. To hell. To hell. Ah. She leads you to hell. Did you know that she's dead? She's dead? She's dead. Yeah. Why? She's dead. Ah. You know that statue isn't alive, right? Ah. It's not alive. It's, why, why it's not alive. I didn't say she's going to hell. Why did she lead you to hell? Why? Oh, why, why did she lead you to hell? Good question. Because there's only one way to heaven. And if there's only one way to heaven, Wait. and that Jesus Christ, that position is taken. It's taken. Mary Wait. can't lead you there. One boy, one. There's only one, one, boy. one way. One boy. Mary is the mother of Jesus. What about it? She said, she said yes to the angel Gabriel. What she about it? She leads you to Jesus. Mary leads you to Jesus. No. No, yes. why go to yes. her nope. when you could just go to him directly? Yeah. How, how why not direct? just go to him directly? <laughs> how would his story come true without Mary? What are you talking about? Mary, Mary. said yes to oh. Gabriel. Which, which, yes to Gabriel? To she gave birth to Jesus. Birth? What, yeah, what about it? Uh, does that make her uh, uh, the new co-redeemer? Does Mary that make her Mary. God? Mary. Is she God? Mary. Is she God? No. Okay then. Just, just forget about she her. God, Just forget about it. What happened? What? Whoa! Is any path that leads you to be good to your fellow man? Uh, you don't be confused, sir. Oh, yes. you your God? heart is deceitful. There's God? only one way, sir, and that's Jesus Christ. Flee from the wrath of God. You need to take the bicycle to heaven through Jesus Christ. What was it? What happened? Of course. Don't worship, stop. Don't worship me. Don't worship me. I'm I'm just a man. I'm just a man. God has judged every sinner here, and you're gonna burn, especially you, bald man. Yeah, you're running out of time, old man. You're gonna burn in the green jacket. Yeah, you better stop pimping out those girls. Yeah, you. You better stop pimping out those girls, you whoremonger. You better repent. Yeah, you. Yeah, you better repent. Yeah, you better stop whoring them out. Don't throw that black, that black uh, racist symbol. Don't throw Nazi symbols here. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about Jesus crucified on the cross. Don't call yourself a Christian Baptist and be ordaining homosexuals in your pulpit. You got a question? What's up? Whoa, whoa, I don't want your AIDS. I don't want your AIDS, man. I don't want your AIDS. I love you. I'll give you knuckles, masturbator. I'll give you knuckles. I masturbate. Hey, gay people always masturbate. I ain't giving it to you, man. God loves me. God loves everybody, but God does not accept the homo. God accepted me. God does not accept ISIS. God does not accept the hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't get it. You got God's love confused with God's acceptance. Hey, hey, serious question, homo. What about the Orlando shooter, huh? What about the Orlando shooter? You telling me God accepted him? Huh, homo? Did God accept the Orlando God shooter? God accepts everybody for who they are. He killed, he killed 50 Stop. homos. He killed Stop. 50 homos. You don't have that to dude's this. burning in hell, people. God is a just God. And God is going to throw you sinners in hell fire because you won't repent. And you're a bad dancer, by the way, too. Bad dancer. Bad dancer. Yeah. Hey, hey, you'll be dancing in hell fire like this on the coals of fire while you're burning. Yeah, you'll be burning. So here's why I started me so bad. You're going to be walking like this diaper boy his rectum got ripped out his rectum got ripped out it's called gay gay bowel syndrome gay bowel syndrome's coming to that man right there rectum's gonna be ripped out you're gonna be wearing diapers boy diaper boy now now jesus listen 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 no no let me explain i love african-american so i don't tolerate the kkk I love Jewish people. I don't tolerate the Nazis. See, God is love, but he don't tolerate your homo behavior. He doesn't tolerate your porn. 
He doesn't tolerate your drinking. He doesn't tolerate your lying. You need to repent, people. It's real simple. Turn or burn. Let me give it to you high schoolers like this because you're probably in public school and you've been so dumbed down. One plus one is two. You plus your sin is hell. Yeah, is that simple enough? Sim yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, now I do love you guys. I'm shouting because Jesus told me to shout from the rooftop. So I'm shouting because I love you enough to tell you homos to keep it in your pants, okay? Tell you drunks, you drunks, listen up. Put that beer down and pick up a Bible. Put that bong down and pick up a Bible. I used to hit the bong like Cheech and Chong. I know all about that stuff. I used to sin a lot. Now, guess what? I sin as much as I want and I don't want to sin anymore. Jesus took the sin out. Jesus gave me a new heart. What God did for me, God will do for you. I, can, I do the camera for when the homo slapped me. I do the camera for when the Muslim try to chop my head off. Why are you afraid to die, sir? Yeah, why are you afraid to die? So if, if, the, if the Muslim radicals show up right now, like in Orlando, and they pull out the gun, you could be crying like a baby. Only fools choose disobedience. Only the fool chooses his own way. The Bible says that a fool is wise in his own opinion. Guess what? How about you start obeying God? How about you start obeying God? Your life is going to be a lot better. You're not smart enough to guide your own life, but God is. God made you. He knows how you work. It's time to repent, people. One word, repent. That was the first thing that Jesus Christ said. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Let the rainbow remind you of the judgment of God. The homo stole the rainbow from the Christians. The Christians had it first. Don't you forget that. Eight people, eight people went into the ark and those were the only ones that were saved. The rest were drowned in the water. Oh, I can see it now. Imagine the waves in the rain and the mothers with their babies ah god please save my baby and they all die it took six chapters for god to destroy the whole world with a flood only six this is the god that is slow to anger this is the god who loves you but he also hates sin and he's gonna throw not only sin but sinners into hell forever if god is just should he not punish sinners? Should he not punish the wicked? Should he not punish sin? How many liars are gonna get into heaven? None. How many thieves are getting into heaven? Zero. How many fornicators are getting into heaven? Zilch, nada, zero. You either are holy and perfect and living for God or you're living for the devil. The Bible says that if one is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed, and behold, all things are made new. That means that a drunkard becomes sober, a homosexual becomes straight, a liar begins to tell the truth, and, uh, and on and on and on with all the sins. There's no such thing as a Christian prostitute. There's It's a bastard child because it's out of wedlock. But God is the father of orphans and the, and the husband of widows. I myself didn't have my father growing up, but God is my father. The Bible says the wicked will be cast into hell and all nations that forget God. So if you're living this lifestyle of I just want to get drunk, get high, get laid. You're in trouble with God. Bible says the carnal mind is at enmity with God. And that carnal mind of I just want to get drunk, get high, get laid makes you an enemy of God. Means you're at war with God.
means you're siding with the devil in his rebellion against God. You know, if you're puffing on your bloods, getting high, you have to understand your lungs were made for oxygen. God made your lungs for oxygen, not for smoke. If you're getting drunk on your alcohol, destroying your liver, destroying your kidneys, because God designed you to drink water. So you're violating the will of God, violating the design of God. And if you're sleeping around, the promiscuity that's so rampant in our society today, you're likely to get an STD. Because that's contrary to the will of God, contrary to the ways of God. So you need to get right. And the way to get right is to repent. That's how you are reconciled. To get right with God, to be justified, to repent of your sin. Turn from your sin before it's too late. Before you die, go to hell. I have God's word right here. This is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying, people. Worship me. I'm not God. I'm not God, man. No, stop it. Stop it. Worship God, the creator. I am but a man. Who are you? Oh, oh. Who are you? Yeah, forget about her. Oh, focus on Jesus Christ. You don't need Mary. Forget about her. Remember Jesus. Go to him. Forget about Mary. She can't do anything for you. She's but a character. Do you have a license to stand on that? I have, yes, God has given me a license. And what, so. what was your question? What religion are you talking about? Christianity, the I'm best religion in the world. I'm a Christian. The best I'm religion a in the world. I'm only. Catholic school, Calvary, oh no, flee from that. Cheers, Run away. Run away from there. I'm Run away. Flee right. the wrath of God. Pursue the Lord. <laughs> but yeah, people, you know, you you know Mary, Mary sends you to hell. Oh, well, no, 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 let me just re-say that, let me re say that. Mary sends you to hell. Worship to Mary sends you to hell. So don't ever kiss the feet of baby Jesus. Don't, don't kiss, don't Mary kiss the, the, head, the forehead of Mary. No, don't do that. It's bad. It sends you to hell. You can't, can't kiss anyone but Jesus. No, I never said that. I said you don't kiss the statues. Don't give it reverence. Don't worship it. It's but an idol. You somebody made it. Works. Somebody made that. You know, somebody made it, right? Yeah. God. People can't make story. God. Why does, People can't make why God. Have what happened? Why does the church treat Jesus Mary? Run away! Yeah, that's probably Run the Catholic away. Church. The Catholic Church is corrupt. They're corrupt. They're no good. You know that they oh, rape. You know that they rape little boys like you guys. Yeah, they they touch you guys. They touch you over there inappropriately. That's what they do. What do they do? Flee from there. Flee. You don't want to know. You don't want to find out either. You, you, you want to listen. Oh no. Oh, the Catholic Church is all about tradition. They're all about tradition. Why does this? Right, answer, answer me this. Yes, answer this. Why? Yes. Amen. Amen to that. You should too. Let me tell you something. Do you believe in the Pope's hat? Do you like that hat? Do you believe in that hat? No, that's tradition. No one wore that in the Bible. It's, it's childish. It it's foolish. Oh that hat, the Pope's hat, the, his fish like hat. You don't no, so you no. Don't like the Pope? He wears. Oh yeah, he's wicked. He's a horrible he's, man. He's, oh, he's oh no! Don't tell me you guys believe in this guy. Oh, oh no! Oh, what? What has happened? That's horrible. Oh no! Right, I'm talking about Catholicism. It's all. Hey, listen, you need to obey the Bible. It's not about just reading the Bible, sinner. You've got to obey. Without obedience and repentance, no salvation. That'd be like cheating on your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and coming back and saying, oh, baby, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go do it again. You think they should forgive you? 
Do you guys have any intelligence here at all? Am I talking to a bunch of fourth graders? Are they gonna forgive you if you cheat on them and you say you're gonna do it again? No, you don't get forgiven. And uh, so what was, I don't know what his original question was, but let's talk about it. Well, too much coke, no, I'm high on the Holy Ghost, praise the Lord. I used to smoke a lot of weed and burn my brain and destroy my body with alcohol and sin against myself. I could have gotten an STD when I was sleeping with hoochies and hoes, but praise the Lord, I'm clean, I'm new, I've been changed, I've been transformed. I am new with the power of God. I am cleansed and now I'm a spiritual version. All things are, have been made new in me, so I don't need to destroy my body anymore. Sin is stupid. Sin destroys your relationships with your family, with your friends. It destroys your body. It ruins your life. Change your ways. Hallelujah. Amen. We have someone using their brain here. Listen up, New York, before it's too late. You don't know when you're going to go. You can die today. Are you ready to see God? Tomorrow is not promised. But I'll tell you what, Judgment Day it is guaranteed. Judgment Day is guaranteed. Warning, warning. The party in hell has been canceled due to the fire. There is no party in hell. You either turn or you burn. You must repent. How can there be forgiveness without repentance? That's like, there is none. That's like saying you have a healthy relationship and your husband keeps on cheating on you and cheating on you and you keep forgiving him and forgiving him. He has not repented. He, has not, he does not feel sorry for his sin. If you feel sorry for your sin, you must let it go. Awa. John the Baptist said, Oh, ye snakes, oh, ye brood of vipers, who hath warned you? to flee from the wrath to come. You know, we're not saved because we go to church. We're not saved because we bring a fat offering to the pastor. I'll tell you how we're saved. The Bible says that if we love Christ, that we repent of our sins, believe in Him alone and obey Him and persevere to the end. Those will be shit saved. You know, do you want a crown? There is nothing worth your soul here. No man can pay you the value of your soul and you're trading for cheap, easy, quick, temporary pleasures. You're trading your soul. Repent. The righteous seek glory. The righteous seek immortality. And you know what? The kings of the world try to spend all their money in trying to get the doctors to uh, come up with uh, medicines to make them live forever. Have you ever heard the fountain of youth? Guess what? They never found it, but I found it in Jesus Christ. I'm alive. And well, I've drank his blood, I've eaten his flesh, and now I will live forever. This shell will disappear one day, but not my soul. I will rejoice, and when God has justice, I am 100% sure, absolutely, hallelujah. That, amen. Amen. Thank you, sister, for the encouragement. Many will come on that day, the Bible says, and say, Lord, Lord, did we not do many good works in your name? And I will declare to him, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Turn to God. Trust in God, the one who spilt his blood for your soul, the one who died for your sin. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, who can make you new. So the Bible says, God is calling all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day when he will judge the world in righteousness by the man Jesus Christ. So God is commanding you to repent. He's not asking you. He's not suggesting it. God is commanding it. If you're a sinner today, you must repent. The Bible says, if the righteous are scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? 
No, if you're a sinner, you won't be saved. The righteous are scarcely saved. But the sinners will not be saved. The Bible says the wicked will be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. And America is becoming a nation that is forgetting God. Take God out of the school. Take God out of the Supreme Court. Take God out of your family life. Take God out of your free time. Many of you have turned your back on God, forgetting God. The Bible says the wicked will be cast into hell and all nations that forget God. So come to your senses. Stop ignoring your conscience. Come to your senses. Turn from your sin. Get right with God. Most people, it sends you to hell. They believe in works. They think that if you work really hard and you give a lot of food to people, oh, you're going to heaven. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Well, then maybe you're a Christian if you don't believe in works. Good job. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm treating you guys as if I would treat myself. I don't want somebody to warn me of hell. I want somebody to tell me the truth. And that's what I'm doing with you guys today. I'm telling you the truth. I was giving money to the poor, not treating your neighbor as yourself. No, I never said it's wrong. I never said to not do it. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, no, no, all I'm saying is that does not lead you to heaven. Works, works does not lead you to heaven. Jesus Christ leads you to heaven. Jesus Christ to teach you about Jesus? No, don't go to schools that teach you to worship, to worship Mary. Yeah, what's your favorite Bible story? Mine's the feeding of the Father. I like the flood. I like the because he wiped out all the sinners. <laughs> he killed them. He slaughtered them. Only a few. Only a few were saved. That's my favorite Bible story. Because you know why? Remind me of where this world is leading to you. I support Jesus Christ. He's the only one that I put my faith in. He's the only one. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. No, I don't, I don't care about them. I care about Jesus. I vote for Jesus. Like I want to vote for the Bible. That's who I'm going to vote for. Jesus for President 2K16. How do you feel about seeing refugees? Uh, Just I say you, you leave them where they're, where they're coming from. Don't bring them here. Don't bring them here. They, 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 might blow, they might blow up this boardwalk for all we know. Oh, that's wicked. That's horrible. That's enslavement to women. Did you know, if we're under Sharia law today, you will get killed. And dead. most likely, most likely, a bunch of Muslims might rape you. Because of how you're dressed. It's the truth, people. This is, listen, listen, this is, it's happening right now, people. What do you think is happening in Europe? They're getting raped. They're getting raped by Arabs. Yes, yes. They are getting raped. That's Sharia law for you, people. Oh, watch your language, please. I thought, I thought you were a good Catholic. I thought you were a good Catholic. What happened? Did, does the school not teach you not to curse? Do you know that you shouldn't curse? You know why? You know why you guys don't know that? Because you have to read the Bible. The Bible tells you. Yes. No, that's not assumptions. That's reality. Oh, I never said that. I, I didn't say every Muslim would rape. All I said, you would most likely get raped by Abraham. That's all. That's all. Yes, it is. Listen, you guys keep thinking that way, and you're going to end up like Europe. You're going to end up like that. Europe. Then why are you here? Go back there. Go back there. Go. Go and see how the Arabs treat people. Yes. Yes, go Say back again, there and check out the place for yourself if you don't believe me. Tell me to go back to Europe one more time. Go back to Europe and check out how wicked it is, how horrible it is, what the Muslims are doing. Oh, I, you can't have guns. You, I, I don't support that. That's not good. No. No, you can't have a gun. That's fine. That's fine. But you shouldn't just kill people out of randomness. All for self-defense. You shouldn't be like Muslims. Where are you from? Don't be like Muslims. Don't be like Muslims. 
Yeah, just kill, Pull just kill up. people. No oh, repent, you wicked woman. You repent. Trust like Jesus that. Christ. Like Trust Jesus Christ. Trust him. <laughs> Man, you need to repent. You need to shut down your sin. You need to shut down your sin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I hate it when you guys accuse me of Jesus. I am not Jesus, okay? I am his servant. Yes. I, I preach like Jesus. I preach like Jesus Christ preached to this wicked city. This is love. Your mama should have spanked you. That's called tough love, right? My kids are over there. I don't let my kids run out and get run over by a car. It's called tough love. Your mama should have spanked you more. It's real simple. Yeah, especially you, you whoremonger pimp. You pimps are going to hell. Tell your hoochie mamas to put some clothes on. Ridiculous. Why aren't they getting arrested for indecent exposure? Shame on you. Shame on you sinners. Now, Jesus Christ said you must turn from your sins. And there's a big list of them, okay? Homo, ISIS, liar, thief, porn freak. Yeah, lots of sins, okay? Lots of sins will send you to hell. Hey, guess what? All have fallen and short of the glory of God. Everybody fell, including me. Yes, I know, hard to believe. Yes, including me. I was not always holier than thou. Yes, I used to be a wicked sinner like all of you. But one day, I bow my knee to Jesus Christ and God forgave me of my sins. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. You need to know that Jesus Christ is God in flesh and he died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he's more than a prophet. Yeah, you think he's a prophet. You don't respect Moses. You don't keep his law, sinner. Don't tell me to preach in a shop. What are you gonna do, chop my head off? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, why you got so much hatred in your heart? Why you got so much hatred? Why don't you respect the Christian? Don't cuss, you're not Christian. No, 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 you're not a Christian. Fall. Fall. You're going to hell, goat. Goat lady, goat alert. Yeah, she's a goat. See, I'm a sheep and false Christians start using F word and F this, they're goats. They're going to hellfire. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21, many on that day will say, Lord, Lord, and I will say, depart from me. I never knew you. Whoa, whoa, youngster got a question. I'll take the question from the youngster. I, I'll take your question, sir. What's your question, Muslim? Why don't you respect the Christian? Why don't you respect the Christian? No, you don't. You were cussing at me. You were this close to wanting to call somebody to come and chop my head off. That's not right. Uh, no, I'm not God. I've already cleared that up, okay? I am God's messenger, not Muhammad, the false prophet, child molesting pervert. Muhammad, yeah, I, I, Aisha, does Aisha ring a bell? She was nine years old. Muhammad married a nine year old. That's called a pervert. In America, that's called a pervert. Uh, you admit it to being a Muslim. When? When was the last time that you read your Bible? You know, many of you watch more uh, pornography than you read the Bible. Read more Playboy than read the Bible. Care more about your rap music than the very words of God. Rather give money to buy these gangster rap CDs or download the latest rap song than to listen to what God has to say. Oh, stop forgetting God. Turn back to God while you're able. 
Bible says he is rich in mercy he is slow to anger he will not cast away those that come to him no matter what you've done no matter where you've been you can be changed and saved David was a murderer Paul was a murderer and yet Jesus Christ saved and forgave them so no matter who you are no matter what you've done if you call on the name of the Lord you will be saved now you could die and go to hell tonight or you could wake up a new man tomorrow the choice is yours the Bible says I set before you life and I set before you death therefore choose life the Bible says choose life See, God gives you a choice serve God or serve the devil be a servant of sin or a servant of righteousness God gives you a free choice heaven or hell yes heaven or hell Bible says we are ambassadors on behalf of Christ beseeching you begging you be ye reconciled to God see God won't God will not force you to know him God will not force you to love him God gives you a choice between right and wrong between him and the devil between heaven and hell so repent the first word Jesus Christ ever said in public ministry was repent repent for the kingdom of God is at hand I can't really hear you you're mumbling Oh, well, because you're right next to him. I am. I have a distance here. I can't hear him. It's not assumptions. It's reality. No, it's not disgusting. No. Oh, what they do is disgusting. Yes, what they do is disgusting, people. It is horrible what they do. Let me know. Let me tell you something. Let me know what they do. Tell me. Well, do you know why? Do you know why the Crusades happened back in the day? You know why it happened? Because the Muslims wanted to take over Europe. They're trying to do it now. Oh yeah, talk? it's a wicked religion. No, oh, not. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so let me tell you, what's better? Your no, what's better, your Catholicism no, or, or Islam? You have no right to oh no, I do have a right. I can say whatever I want. Freedom of speech. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, that's why I love America. That's why I love USA, USA, USA. Yeah, freedom of speech, people. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh. Oh, why don't you go to America? I vote for Jesus Christ every day. You know how I vote for him? By not sinning. I stop sinning. I don't sin. I turn away from it. I turn away from it. You need to repent. You need to start voting for Jesus Christ. You need to read the Bible. What? No, I don't vote. I don't vote for any of these people. I vote for the Bible. I vote for Jesus Christ. He is the only one. What are you talking about? Did you know that? Did you know that uh, the foundations that were built upon this nation were based off this Bible? Do you know when somebody's gonna get in the uh, become a president? They put their hand on the Bible, not on the Quran, not on the wicked Quran. No, no. they put it on this right here. So that's why I love this nation, for it was built upon uh, this religion, Christianity. What's the problem? You want, you want, you don't vote, right? You don't vote. I vote for Jesus. So yes. Uh, no, yeah, you put the Bible. We we read the scripture and we decide things from here. This is the present. This should be the present right here. Okay, but well, if you put a Bible, that's for someone. All you have to do is read it. That's all you have to do. Okay. Read it and do what it says. Christians, Christians read the Bible. One person? I can read it. 
Alright, so you want to make yourself king. Oh, hey, look, if I was king, I would do whatever I want. I would be my own rule. That's not what I'm saying. This should be the president. This should be king. We should be reading this. We didn't want to say I'm using this. Add me on Snapchat at the world. Oh, people, you may laugh now. You may have a good time now. But guess what? Guess what? Hell is no fun. Hell is not fun. There won't be laughter in hell. There will only be gnashing and weeping. What are you doing? Are you worshiping God? Are you? Yes. You're a Christian. Yes. I thought you were a Catholic. I'm a Christian, but I don't appreciate you getting a Catholic. Oh, you don't. You don't appreciate the Bible? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Good. No, but if you do, you then why are you saying that have you, like, have you repented, ma'am? Have you repented? <laughs> you repent every day. Every day? Yeah. Whoa! Man. How do you do that? Dude. You're supposed to repent once. What do you have to say to the Bernie Sanders You're supposed to repent only once. Abortion. You don't need to repent every day. What do you have to say to them? You don't, oh, oh, you <laughs> like it. Is it that you like repenting or that you like sin? <laughs> Which one is it? What do you have to say to Bernie Sanders you know, I think you like sin. And I think that's I why you repent every it. day. If you, oh, you don't like it? Do you do it? You know yes, why do you? Whoa, 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 don't judge me. Whoa, 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 don't judge me. I don't sin. Yes, you're you're sin. 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 Oh, no. Right now. Everyone oh. sins. Everyone sins. Why are you judging everybody? You're judging, judging the whole world, everybody. including everybody. Islam. You're judging Islam. He sins. Hey, he's judging I'm Islam. Judging. Are you going to get mad at him I'm as well? Well, he just said everybody sins. Do do Muslims sin? Do Muslims sin? Yes. Oh, whoa! Oh, why are you judging these people? You guys are horrible. Hey, you guys are horrible. Yeah, I am preaching it. I do practice it. I don't say the F word like you. You need Jesus Christ. Here. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus Christ. You're going to hell, goat. Goat. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You know, every one of you knows that there is a God. The truth of God is so obvious, so evident. Just look at the design of the body. Look at the order of the universe. It's an inescapable truth that there is a God. And you know in your conscience right from wrong. You can infer from your conscience that there is a judgment day. You know through your conscience God's going to judge you for right and wrong. You're accountable. You're accountable for your choices. All your beer guzzling, all your pot smoking, all your whorish behavior, you're accountable because God has written His law upon your heart. But the Bible says it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah than for those who knew the gospel and did not obey it. Sodom had no Bible. Gomorrah had no churches. And yet God rained fire and brimstone and wiped them out. You can go to Sodom today. It's nothing but brimstone. You can go to Gomorrah today. It's nothing but sulfur. Why? Because they sin against the Holy God. Society has lost its mind. Sin is madness. Sin is foolishness. Jesus said, if you hear my sayings and do them not, you're like a foolish man who builds his house upon the sand. Don't you see how unreasonable sin is? Homosexuality is a violation of the human body. Drugs and alcohol is, yes. I was just informed that they asked me if you have a permit. Oh, where do you get a permit from? public speaking or whatever. Yeah, no, you don't need a permit for free speech. Yeah, I know not for free speech, but since it's a private property. Who owns this property? Nice. Nice? 
Okay, yeah, I, I thought it was public. I wasn't aware of that. I'll have to look into that. Have you ever heard of Nice? Uh, he said this is owned by a private company named Nice. Here, uh, He's my local friend here. I'm not from around here. A lot of. The bus company, and they told me that you know they really don't want. Okay. So we'd have to get a permit from Nice or yeah, something, like or preach from the street. Yeah, if they okay it, there's no problem. I'm all for it. I like that. Yeah. But, you know, it's... Okay. Yeah, it's similar that way in Texas. They have a company that owns the transit. Oh, called, I know that. Yeah, called... Yeah, yeah see, like the buses say nice. Nice. Uh, Nassau in the County Express. Right. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so this is the private property, so maybe, maybe uh, we can move uh, to the public part. Yeah, like we'd have to go to the sidewalk or it's something. Right outside the gate. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I appreciate it. We'll look into it. And, yeah, have a good day. Yeah. Right. And you might be able to get a permit if you contact NICE. Yeah, go contact NICE or even yeah. town hall. All right, thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you. Now. Between you and God. The difference between me and God. I am the creator. He, I'm, he, I am the creation. What the heck? He's the creator. I am the creation. He is the creator. I misspoke. It happens, people. I'm not, I'm not perfect in my speech or in my body or anything. However, I am perfect in my morals. I don't see people. It is bad. Oh, oh no! What? Oh no! You're a Pharisee. I was not born a Pharisee. I was born innocent. I was born a baby. I used to be a baby. Believe it or not, I used to be an innocent little, cute little baby. You did no. sin, though. Whoa, as a baby? Wait, wait, wait. So you're you saying you've never sinned in your life? Oh, no, I'm not saying that. Have you ever sinned? Everyone I have sinned in the past. Exactly. I Everyone have sinned in the past. Okay, so how but now, I have found the Lord. I have found the Lord. And then I've repented. So and I don't repent every day. I repented once. You know, I have not sinned before. Oh, yeah. I read the Bible. I go to church. I worship God. Are you good. Oh, Christian. I'm not, I'm not a... A sinner. Is a if you're a, a Catholic, you're most likely a sinner. So no, that's that actually makes no sense. Okay, I gotta go. It makes no sense. How? Good. You, you can't even explain it? why it makes no sense. You don't make sense. Oh no. Oh no. It doesn't make sense, people. But anyways, don't get carried away, people. The message here is to repent. Trust Jesus Christ. There's only two ways: heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. You don't get a menu. You don't get a menu. You can't just, oh, I'm a reincarnate. Oh, I'm a, I choose a roach or I choose a shark. No, there's only two options. Heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. How do you go to hell? Do you, go, do you guys know how to, how to go to hell? Keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing it. It'll lead you to hell. It'll lead you to hell. Yes, you have tackle. You have tackle. So yes, I think you know what you're However, there is hope. However, I'm not done. However, however, there is hope. And no, and no, I'm not talking about Mary. There is no hope in her. Not Mary. No Mary. Her statue, it does nothing for you. If it breaks, so what? If, if it breaks, so what? There is hope, people. One hope, and that's Jesus Christ. That's the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Well, Mary didn't have a relationship with a man, so it was a miracle. It was a miracle. Yeah. So, do you believe in Mary? Do I believe she existed? Yes. Do I believe that you should worship her? No. I don't want to go to hell. Oh, that's insanity. Why? Why would you worship her? Why? All she, all she did was give birth to Jesus. Big deal. The biggest deal is Jesus Christ, not Mary. Not Mary. So, here's a new song. You ready? Uh, Police Lives Matter. Police Lives Matter. That's right. How about this one? You ready? Babies Lives Matter. Babies Lives Matter. Here you go. Here you go. Christian Lives Matter. Stop trying to kill all the Christians, okay? I love you enough to tell you the truth. Turn or burn, you goat. You were cussing at me earlier. Yes, you were. Why are you with those people? Because I'm for peace and I'm for love. But why are you... 
You killing the babies in the womb? Oh, killing the babies in the womb. You're gonna vote for Hillary? I mean, Hillary? Are you gonna vote for her? Yeah. Why don't you go give some crack rock to somebody down the street who's already addicted? You understand? It's called. It's called. It's called us. Hey, what are you? I'm trying to help you guys. You don't gotta go to hell. You can go to heaven. You can bow your knee to Jesus. This is love. This is tough love. Jesus Christ gave tough love. Yeah, you're not a Christian. Don't call yourself a Christian. You're giving real Christians like me a bad name. It's right here. Right here. Get my water. My water. Yeah, Jesus is love. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus is the true love. Jesus is the true love. Now listen, this is from God. God throws the sodomites into hell. God throws the drunkards into hell. God throws ISIS into hell. God throws gangsters into hell. God throws cop killers into hell. This is the true God of the Bible. It's called Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord rained down fire. You need to realize you've sinned, you've sinned, you've sinned, you've sinned, and only the blood of Jesus can set you free. Uh, repent. 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 Trust Jesus Christ. That's all you need. Honestly, guys, Christianity isn't complicated. It's not complicated, people. All you have to do is stop sinning, put your trust in Jesus Christ, and persevere till the end. That's all. That's all, people. It's not hard. What happened? Oh my God. You know, I got signed to the Warriors. Oh. Oh no. What was that? What was that? Voice. No, that no, that wasn't. That, that's not. Don't be so harsh on her. Abortion. Wow. No, I'm talking about abortion. You're so about harsh. She wants abortion. She wants abortion. I'm, I'm talking about who said that? Who said? Who? Who? who you? Who? 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 Which sinner? Which sinner? This one right here, or this one, or this sinner right here, or that sinner over there? Which one? Which one? Where? Where? You? Were you? Oh, I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Who said who? Somebody wants to kill a baby around here? Don't judge me. You can't say you're not a sinner. You just call us sinners. I can't. You just call us sinners. You need to speak speak up, man. I, you keep mumbling. I can't hear you. Um, what's going on? Are you Catholic? Are you Catholic? Oh, man, turn that down. Oh, that's devil worship. That's devil music, people. Here in the flesh. No, no, this is not BAT. This is not BAT. Oh, get away from me, sinner. No, no. Oh, who knows what types of STDs you might have? I don't want that. Oh, no. I don't want that. What? Oh, yeah, yeah I told you to stop judging. I, I believe in judgment, though. I, I believe I could judge people, yeah. Judge yeah, that's fine. But what's the problem? What's the problem there, people? You do too what? Oh. Oh, ain't going to that. However, the things, the, things, the things that you judge, do you do them as well or no? No? Hey, keep it up then. Keep it up if you stop sinning. Keep it up. So wait, what do I do that makes me a sinner? Whatever you do makes you a sinner. But what do I do that makes me a sinner? Sin! 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 Sin makes you a sinner! If you engage in sin, that makes you a sinner! That's a sinner! What are sins? Anything that transgressed the laws of God, that's sin! If God doesn't want it, don't do it! Don't do it!
you mean do I believe? It happens, yes. Just you're okay with killing, that's like a you sin. Am I okay with killing? Just by killing, you that's it. You believe in it? Because you said Just your favorite story. Yes, it exists. Yes. Yes, so you, you said, said your favorite story, story is the flood. Oh, yeah, I love it. And that's when everybody died. Oh, yeah. So so like but guess what? Those were sinners. They deserved it. That's what they had coming. Because they seemed. Do they deserve to die? Well, we all deserve to die. We have all sinned. We have, even including me. I know I look like a great person and I'm great and I'm holy, but that's that's the person you see today. In my past, I used to sin. I used to laugh at, at Christians just like you guys. I used to be just like you guys. I used to be a sinner like you guys. Like this one right here. I used to be a sinner like this one right here. We are Christians. But thank the Lord. Christians. Whoa, I thought you were a Catholic. Yes, Catholic. Whoa, whoa. Part of it is Christian too. Whoa. Who told you that? Did you know someone lied to you? Somebody lied to you. Was that your dad or your pastor? Listen. Well, thank God that you're here today. I'm here to tell you the truth. Look, Christianity, to be a Christian means to read this and obey it. Don't obey the Pope. Don't obey the church. Oh. Oh, I like it. Keep it up. Not, not we all him. should hate the Pope. No, not, not he's not. He's not a good person. He allows. He allows people to rape little children in his church. How wicked is that? He deserves hell a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Of course there's a difference in sins. A, a rapist is not the same as a god pencil. Hello? They're not all the same. No. He well, you want to stop sinning. Alright, there was a whore. There was a hole in the Bible in John chapter 8. You know what the hole came to Jesus? They threw her down like this. Ah! You know? And they were going to throw stones at her. Hey, hey, where are you going with your mini skirt? Don't call yourself a Christian dressing like that. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Why don't you dress modest? Modest is hottest. Render your heart and not your garments. How about that then? You're, you guys are walking off in the middle of the sermon. That's very disrespectful to the preacher. Very disrespectful. No, no. So, all right. So here where is this? This hoe was thrown down in front of Jesus like this. Ah! Okay? And and then and then they, they took up stones. Stones. No, it's it's red. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey, I'm telling you a Bible story, you know? You guys are so Bible illiterate. I have to break it down real slow. So John chapter 8, there was a hoe who got thrown down to Jesus' feet, caught in the act of adultery. And you know what happened? She said, Lord. And because she said, Lord, he forgave her. And you know what he said in John 8, 11? He said, go and sin no more. So you Christians that keep sinning all the time are a disgrace to Jesus Christ. She was a brand new convert, just saved. And he said, go be a hoe no more. Y'all understand that in New York? Go be a hoe no more. That's what Jesus said in John 8, 11. He said, go and sin no more. So stop justifying your masturbation, your fornication, your porn addiction, your uh, smoking weed, your drinking, and stop justifying your hatred in the heart. I do not watch porn. I don't masturbate. Why? It's unclean, unclean, man. Jesus never masturbated. Doug. I, I, yeah. I, my wife's over there. You, I already told you that. No. Why would I wear a condom? You, you, you guys wear condoms because you're afraid of getting AIDS. You guys wear condoms because you don't want butt warts. You guys, yeah, you guys, what's that? Whoa, 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 
We have a lesbian that uses condoms here. Right here. Whoa. 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 On you lesbian you're not gonna have any babies you're not gonna have any babies oh whoa whoa I know what you're gonna say she can have babies with a sperm donor you still need a man ha! you still need a man you're not born gay Jesus Christ can restore yeah good yes this is my child. There you go. You still needed a womb. A womb. Right? You needed a woman for that. Two. Yeah, you had to have a woman. That's what God said. And it's proven. It's proven. Did God also say not to be a judgmental asshole? Why are you judging me? Why are you judging my judging? You know what, lesbian? You're in timeout talking to this man here you're in timeout what are you a pansy too you know sissies go to hell revelation 21 8 cowards go to hell I'm not a coward I'm not afraid of Isis you and your interpretation of that book can't send me you're right Jesus Christ is gonna send you to hell I don't need you to tell me what you think you're a fuller life of Christ. Whoa. I have a fuller life of Christ. Whoa. I have a fuller life of Christ. You have a demon. Devil possessed. Yeah. Don't are you a you're a Christian? You are a demon. I can't say I love God because I can't serve two masters. You can't put your penis in an anus either, homo. If you love God, you obey God. If you love God, you obey God, people. This is well, you're already effeminate, so I'm just guessing you're a sodomite too. Are you? Effeminates go to hell. First Corinthians six nine. Fake Christian. You're a fake Christian. No, you're not. You no. Yeah, it does. You're going to hell. First Corinthians six nine. You're in timeout. You're in timeout. Yeah. Stop serving the devil. Stop it. Who made you God? I am not God. I already told you that. I'm not God. Okay. No, I'm not going home. Stop trying to kill everybody. What are you? Do you worship cows? You can be everything. Why don't you become Jesus Christ then? Huh? Do you think God's in everybody? Suicide. Suicide is a sin. Suicide's a big sin. I don't sin anymore. I'm a real Christian. I'm a real Christian. Why did he allow to rule? That was his choice. I don't understand fully his that was his choice. He chose him. He saw his heart. He saw him playing in the wilderness. He saw him guarding his sheep against He saw his heart. He saw his heart. What? If God doesn't believe in the Pope, why would he? What do you mean not believe in the Pope? Like he he knows that he exists, but you mean his message? Yes. Yeah, because he doesn't obey this. That's all you have to do to be a Christian. What about? Whoa! The first pope, you know, he he was just king. The first king. No, no. Uh, the pope first isn't king. a king. No, the oh, pope no. is not a king. He is a sinner. The pope is a sinner. You are too, though. No, I used not. to be. You're not a sinner. I used to you're be. Not a sinner. You're not a sinner. No. If you oh no. Sin, you are a sinner. Oh no. no. I stopped it. I put her away. I turned away from it. I stopped sinning. But I didn't do it through my own efforts. I didn't, it through, I didn't do it. I didn't do it through my own strength. No, I did it.
Because Jesus Christ gives me the power. Give me the power to defeat sin. You don't have to sin anymore, people. You don't have to do it. How great is it? How great is that? You don't have to sin anymore. You've got to accept Jesus Christ. Believe and persevere till the end. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Oh, yes. Thank you for coming back, people. Thank you for coming back to hear me. Thank you. Thank you. All you have to do. All you have to do is repent. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Believe in Him. Or weep. Or weep. Or weep. I hope many of you, your knees, I hope they're shivering. I hope they're buckling. Buckling out of fear. Fear out of God. Fear Him. I hope your knees are shivering. I hope tonight, when you go to sleep, your knees shiver. I hope they shiver. I hope they buckle like this. I hope they buckle like that. Oh, I hope you fear the Lord. Fear him for he is mighty. He has power over your life. He has power over your life. He's the one who decides where you go in eternal life. He is the only one. Allah, to hell with him. To hell with him. Allah. To hell with Allah. He has no, he has, he won't engage you in the afterlife. It is the biblical God, Elohim. He is the true God, not Islam. He will judge you all, including me. You, he's gonna judge you. He's gonna judge you. He's gonna judge you over there. Everybody, the man running over there without a shirt, he's gonna judge him too. Did you know that? God is gonna judge him too. Whoa! That's not good. But you know what? If he starts running to Jesus Christ, if he starts running to God, he's gonna judge him and he's gonna go to heaven. You see? You see how it works? You get judged and then it's heaven or hell. That's all. That's all, people. Oh, what a marvelous day today it is. Thank you, Lord, for raining down on these being sinners parades. Oh, I'm very happy. Lord Jesus Christ, to tell you today that your religion cannot save you, though it might be good, that your good works cannot save you, though they might be good, and many not few religious people will be turned away on the last day because as Jesus said they were workers of iniquity they were in the church they had a form of godliness but they denied the true power of God which is the Holy Spirit Jesus said to Nicodemus a man who knew the scripture. I'm sure a man who fasted and prayed and he kept the commandments of God. And he said, Nicodemus, unless you be born again, you can by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. And this is a gift of God, my friends. Many self-righteous people Many religious people put their faith in their works. And yes, it's true that we do good works, but we do good works because we're saved, not to get saved. As Ephesians chapter two says, verse eight, verse seven, six, seven and eight, it says by grace that we are saved and not by works, least anybody boast that it is a gift of God and that we do good works that were preordained for us to walk in. In other words, that we do the good works because we're saved. Not to get saved. Many of you look and you say, well, I'm a good person. And according to the word of God, you have all broken the law. The first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. And how many here have broken the
the first command. Yes, even the very believers in Christ here have broken that law. I have broken that law. And the Bible says if you've broken one of the laws, that you've broken them all. And we know that the wages of sin is death, my friends. But God sent His Son to die for your sins, that you might have eternal life, that you might be reconciled unto the Father. Attention! The stench of your sin has risen all the way to the throne of God, Long Beach. And God has sent us to warn the wicked. You know what you have to do to be wicked? You have to be a non-Christian. You have to not believe in Christ. You have to do whatever you think is right in your own eyes. Do you know that the God of the Bible, the one that is preached, that is called the God of love, it only took six chapters into the Bible before he destroyed the world. Six chapters. And he drowned everybody. I want you to picture it for a moment. There were the people drinking. There were the people dancing. There were the people getting married. And then it started to rain. It started to rain little by little. And the babies, you can imagine the babies crying and the mothers were like, oh no, God save my baby. Don't let my baby die. And then the waters began to cover the foot of the mountain. And then it began to cover the hills. And then it began to cover the tips. And you can imagine that the animals would run to the top and the human beings were all the way at the top. And then everybody started drowning and drowning and drowning until there was no one left alive but one man. His name was Noah. The Bible says that so that like the days of Noah will be the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Are you ready to see him? Anybody with a question? Does everybody want to know why I'm here? I'm here because your sin stinks. I'm here to judge. Would anybody like to be judged? It's about time that somebody starts to do it. That's why I came. I'm a professional judger. I got a degree on judgment. Would anybody like to step up? Anyone? The Bible says that if you love God, you will keep his commandments. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of the Father. Jesus said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Pointing to his disciples, he said, behold, this is my mother and my brother. Those who do the will of my Father. Are you guys ready to meet God? Are you ready? I hope you're ready, because it's gonna happen when you least expect it. You can die tonight. Ah, how do you know? How do you know? I'm a You're a mind reader. Whoa, stay away from that. That's dangerous, okay? The Bible says that if you love God, then you'll keep his commandments. He loved you. He died for you guys. But do you love him? That's the true question. Anybody? Ride your way to heaven, sir. The road to heaven is narrow and the gate is narrow. Enter through the narrow gate because wide is the path and wide the entrance that leads to destruction. The Bible says that many are going to try to get into heaven, but only a few will make it. This path is difficult, people. It's a path of abstinence. It's a path of self-denial. Jesus said, anyone who wants to come after me must deny himself. Pick up his cross and follow me. Hey, Buddhist, 
you're wrong. Hey, Hare Krishnas, you're wrong. Hey, Muslims are wrong. All those who do not trust in Christ will have their part in the lake of fire. Yes, fire. All you guys who consider yourself intellectuals. Oh, science is the greatest thing. You're wrong. It's not the end. When you die, you don't just rot away and worms eat your flesh. There's another life after that one. Do you know that there are no atheists in hell? Do you know that everybody believes in hell? But guess what? It's too late. It's just too late. What a pity. What a pity. Everybody prays in hell, but nobody's there to listen. Torment and pain and fire consumes them day by day, night and day. Any questions so far? Does anyone have a question or do we all agree? Good. Let's keep going. Are you ready to meet God today? Hey, hey, why is your color? Why is your hair color pink? What's going on over there? You're matching. Matching with what? Jacob, let me get that mic. A hair dye. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Okay, you're expressing yourself. Okay. This is a lot better, guys. My voice was going out, but now we're back in business. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for providing technology. Isn't this great? We can continue the service. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the service. Uh, I know you guys don't like to go to church, so God sent church to you. Praise the Lord. Uh, any questions so far? Or do we all agree? Yes? All right. Very good. Does anybody believe in evolution? That you are just a filthy animal that became greater than the rest. Yes, you were formed from nothing but stardust, and therefore you have no value. You are just stardust. You have no greater value than the rocks. You have no greater value than a starfish. You have no greater value than a pig or a worm. It's all the same. So hey, why don't we get rid of the useless people, the useless eaters they used to call them, right? I mean survival of the fittest, right? It makes sense. Hey, if I want something from you, I should just steal it, right? Why not? Wouldn't, doesn't it make sense? Hey, let's live, let's practice what we preach, people. Evolution is survival of the fittest. Yep. And what do you go learn in psychology? Well, you know, morals are, you know, relative, and it depends where you are in your culture and whatnot. But hey, you know when the thief gets upset? Thieves get upset when another thief steals from him. That's when he realized, hey, that, that's my stuff. I, I stole that first. But guess what? It's wrong. It's wrong to steal and you know it. Have any of you stolen something before? You're in trouble with God. Be careful. Uh, have any of you ever told a lie? You're in trouble with God. That's a lie. You're a liar. You know what you call a liar? You know how many times it takes to lie to become a liar? One time. That's it. Oh man, what a mess. Are you guys ready to see God? You could die today. Watch out. Death is unexpected. You don't know when it's coming. It's like a train coming at a thousand miles at you and wham, you're out of here. Oh my gosh. I hope you can't sleep at night tonight. I hope you fear God and maybe, just maybe you'll repent. Maybe you'll look into this beautiful creation and sky and say, you know what? A painting can't exist without a painter. A building cannot exist without a builder. But how can the whole world and the universe itself from the beginning exist without a creator? Creation demands a creator. It's common sense, don't you think? Okay, uh, moving on. Have any of, how many of you like to masturbate? Raise your hand, yeah. Nobody, oh wow, this is a clean crowd so far. I normally get everybody raising their hands at that point. Uh, how many of you guys like to get high? Any potheads in the crowd? Should we legalize marijuana? Does it make sense? What's the argument? Oh, it's natural, right? It makes sense, right? What was that? Speak up, young man. Speak up. Hello. We've spoken already. Any questions? No. Any questions? No. Why? Why are you upset? Huh? Maybe you're pricked in your heart. Maybe you know that there's something wrong, sin, sin in your life. It makes you uncomfortable. People run from the word of God. Okay. Uh, any porno freaks in here? 
Any homosexuals, please raise your hand. Let's talk. Anybody? Well, you know what? Those people who commit abortion, hey, you deserve death because you killed your own child. You know, when I was a sinner, what I did, I went and for fornicated with my girlfriend and I had a child. I was about to have a child and I decided to kill it in the womb. Until this day, I live with blood in my hands. I killed my own offspring. And you know who does that? Animals. Animals kill their own offspring and I regret it every single day. It gnaws at my heart. It bothers my soul and I think I don't even know if it was a boy or a girl. Any of you committed uh, that act before? So what do you guys what do you girls think so far? What are you here for? Okay. Anyone else? Come on, come all. This is your free entertainment of the day. Uh, we're preaching Jesus Christ today. He died for you and now he's alive. He resurrected and that proves that he is the truth, the way and the life. No one can come to the Father but by me. Repent, repent, repent. Trust in the Savior. If you trust in him, then you will find life. You will find salvation. There is no name under heaven of which we can be saved minus the name of Jesus Christ. You guys should pack your bags, pack your sin, and throw it out and follow Jesus. Pack it up. All right, guys. Um, you know the fireworks were canceled today, so we brought some. We're firecracking your ears off here, people. We're trying to wake you up. Can you see the fire? Can you see the fire in heaven? You know what's the funny thing? You're the firecracker in hell if you don't repent. All you smokers, you'll be smoking forever in hell. But you won't be smoking a joint anymore. You won't be smoking a cigarette anymore. You'll be the one smoking forever. Smoke Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yes, he's a sinner and I am ashamed to look like him. I wish I looked more like Jesus, but I don't know what he looked like. Uh, da Vinci uh, painted a picture of Jesus, of his homosexual uh, lover. And uh, he's not this long-haired sissy that's skipping around the beach. He's a man. He's a man. He came once as the lamb, but he's coming back as the lion of Judah. In one hand, his sword. And in the other, he has a reward for those who have been faithful. What is coming for you? Are you ready to meet God? We all have a common destination, you know? We can't escape it. We can't run from death. We can try. We can try the medicine. We can have all the money in the world. But sooner or later, the sting of death comes and takes our very life. But there is one who defeated death. His name is Jesus Christ. Muhammad is still in the grave. Buddha is still in the grave. And they're all wrong and false religions. And so is Confucius. But there is one whose bones cannot be found in the earth. That is Jesus Christ, my friends. He lives. He lives in me today. You are walking by past salvation. You are walking past salvation. Warning, sinner. Sinner, hell awaits. Repent. Repent. Trust in Jesus. If you say that you know him, you go to jail. You go to jail, but if you break the law of God, you go to hell. You go to hell. What are you going to do in hell? There is no escape from jail. There is no bailout from jail. Only, only uh, you know, a human jail you can get bailed out for a certain amount of money. But now is the time. Behold, here is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Does anybody have a question? Do you agree? What? Do you agree that today's the day of salvation? Yeah. Amen. Praise, praise God. Good, good for you, man. That's what it's about. And do you also agree that if you break the, the law of man, you got to go to jail? But what happens if you break God's law? You know what? God has a prison too. It's called hell. And there's no parole. And guess what? The amount of money we have to pay to get out of there is so great that no man can pay his way out. That's why Jesus died on the cross for you. That's uh, you can send anywhere you want these days. That's terrible, isn't it? What about the okay. that uh, about what, Is there a specific no, ordinance that says you can't no, film up here? Oh, you, yeah, you need a permit. You need a what? permit from the city clerk's office. What kind of permit? Okay. To film or do photography shoots? Oh.
Okay, but you said he also has to no, leave? He's gay. No, I said you guys can't film here. That's all I'm saying, okay? Oh, so we just can't use the cameras? Yes, because you need a permit. I see. Um, I don't know about that. No. Well, that's free speech. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a permit, you know, the Constitution. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I get it. I'm, okay. I'm, listen, I swore no to uphold the Constitution. Right, that's right. So there's like a photography permit? Like, I, uh, yeah. For the beach? Like, even like your iPhone or something? No, no. For, if you're taking like a quick picture, but to like record videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Even if we're only Check. filming our own guy? Like, we're not filming other people, we're just filming our own guy. Um, let me just speak to them. Yeah, uh, I'll get back to you. Okay? I understand, like, if a guy's going around shooting girls in bikinis. No, no, know, yeah, that's something. different. That's you guys di are doing it. Yeah, know. we're just filming our own guy. I know, I know. You know? And I, so, I believe in God, too, so yeah. I'm not here to attack you guys or anything like that. But, but you know what? It's really not an issue because my bad. Okay, what, what, what ordinance do you need to, to talk? It's a film, man, and you guys are watching just your trap right now. So, you know, you have a right to free speech and everything, but, you know, as the right to free speech is to get beaten these people by walking. Yeah. Well, but, but he's not blocking the flow of traffic. The film, the film, the film, the film. Well, we had it off. No, we, we turned, the batteries are almost dead. We turned it off. We'll, we'll put the cameras away. We can't help if a crowd gathers. That that's not at our no, control. No, no, no. But he he's out of the but, way there. But, but, but by causing the crowd to gather, to be disorderly, technically disorderly conduct. I, no, I understand that. But to stop it. Well, if if they're blocking the flow of traffic, that's their fault. Yeah, but you're causing that flow of traffic to be blocked. Right? They choose to stop wherever they choose. I don't make the laws up, man. That's not the law that if you draw a crowd, you're disturbing that's the peace. That's that's called disorderly conduct. It, it says. You cannot draw a crowd. Yes, in there. 100. Yep. So you guys don't ever draw crowds when you pull people over, or when, there's a, when you're show up on scene. You draw crowds all the time because you're cops. It happens. I understand that. So are you disturbing the peace when you draw a crowd because you're doing your job? I say disturbing the peace. Thank you. Disorderly, disorderly con conduct. Are yeah. you are you committing disorderly conduct when you draw a crowd doing your job? Do you see how unreasonable that is? That that can't be the law. I think you know. Well, then that law needs to be changed because it'd be unconstitutional. I, that's what my pay grade. I know. Well, right to your policy, well the, constitu the Constitution, right the Constitution would surpass any con any wish, ordinance listen, like that. I, I wish it was just the Constitution. This will be a lot better well, if free, that's what we follow. Well, no, free, free speech is the right to be heard. Not only to speak, but for people to listen. So, I mean, a crowd is, you know, intrinsic in, in free speech. So any ordinance that would forbid that I is, is but surpassed by the Constitution. I understand, but this property is owned by the city of Long Beach. So we're allowed to kick you off if you want to. Yeah, but if you yeah, if you do something illegal and I, I mean we have to, if you if you want hey, if you want to enforce that, that's your call. I think it's unconstitutional. Okay. But your opinion, do you think uh, I can go preach on your front lawn? Uh, you can preach in front of my house. No, no, no. Your, but, yeah. but you're on so this is private right now. This is public property. Long it's Beach is by, public. It's owned by them, though. Yeah, tax dollars. Tax yeah, dollars make it. Full time. Uh, the beach closed at 11 p.m., so according to you, that, that shouldn't be a rule, that, because it's public property. Well, within reason, if, if someone's breaking the law, and I, free speech is not breaking the law, regardless. If they, if they block the flow of traffic and you say that's illegal, then they're breaking the law, not us. You kick the crowd out, not us. Free speech is not breaking the law. I didn't come to argue. Well, we need to argue because you're, you're saying we can't draw a crowd. And we, and we don't have any control over that. If people walk by or stop, it's not in our control. It can't be our fault. So that's your call. If you want to enforce that, I mean, we got free speech. We're going to preach. If you want to cite us for disorderly conduct, uh, I've done lawsuits all over the want, country. I don't want to. It's not a smart move. I don't want to. We, I've done lawsuits all over the country. That's absolutely unconstitutional and unreasonable. And uh, if that really is on the books, it needs to be changed. <laughs> I mean, we've had laws changed all, all over the country. Hey, that's but, good. I, I support that. Yeah. So, well, I'll tell our guy. Yeah, just I'll tell our guy. I'll just tell our guy. Yeah, no, no filming, and I'll tell him to get out of the way. You know, but I can't help anybody else who wants to stop. All right, take care, brother. God bless. All right, God bless you. Take care. So that's 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 the best I can do. Keep going, yeah.